What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 13 LF, Chapter 206, Rabbit Charm, Dion, Perfect Shadow Transformation. Snapped, just when the two sisters were about to leave, the door had been pushed open, and Alan walked out of the room step by step, with an unusually confident smile on the corner of his mouth, a smile appeared on his face. Filled with absolute confidence and a proud stance. Father. Did you make it? Looking at his father's expression, Dion thought a little and asked softly. Ha ha ha. Alan laughed and said, success. I really didn't expect that the final route would depend on me, it's really interesting. 35. Dion, go and call Neil to Lao Tzu. Okay, father. Hearing his father's words, Dion nodded and was about to leave. Only, Alan seemed to be thinking about something, and suddenly said, wait. Don't worry, this thing will belong to you in the future. Huh. 35. Guillaume seemed to be a little confused about what his father was saying. Brush. A ray of light has already merged into his body, it is like a figure like a rabbit, in an instant. Guillaume's eyes have already crossed the phantom of the rabbit, and feel this phantom in a flash, Guillaume felt the extra divine power in his body, as if he was in a daze. Ha ha ha. Alan laughed loudly and said, It's not bad, your strength has reached this level, this is what you should get, go, little girl. Yes. 39. Father. Guillaume felt the divine power he had obtained, but nodded slightly, and then left. As Guillaume left, a smile appeared on the corner of Alan's mouth, that's right. It was the rabbit charm that was handed to Guillaume. Divine power. Twelve spells. Eight demons. Ghost mask. 937. Represents a total of 30 people, this number is really not many, in other words. The whitebeard pirates can get their own power, only a very small part, but. No matter who it is, Guillaume definitely has this qualification. No matter in terms of identity and strength, they are absolutely qualified, but. I have also researched other things to deal with, even if I can't become this very small part, it doesn't matter, doesn't it? A smile emerged from Alan, and the whole person's expression was very strong, even with a proud smile. Woo. With a puff of smoke, Alan said with Rahe, Rahe, let's go, let's go to the study and wait for the arrival of Rabbit and Neil. Okay. Father. Hiori nodded obediently. Although she was young, she knew what happened just now. She knew even more that it was the power bestowed by her father, and if she was good enough, she would do it too. The power of giving. Of course, Hiori believes in herself, that she can definitely get the power given by her father, after all. She is her father's daughter, and as Edward Allen's daughter, it would be the most embarrassing thing if she couldn't even do this. All in all, Hiori has absolute confidence, and Alan is looking at all this with a smile, these children. No matter what, they can see it. These children are really outstanding, more it makes people feel how outstanding these children are. Guillaume, B.A., or other children, they are all too good, and each child's heart and firmness are the most firm hearts, they have enough will, and this will is the most outstanding, isn't it? With a smile on the corner of his mouth, Alan sat in the study and waited quietly. Cough cough cough, Neil coughed slightly, and he whispered softly, it's a pity that I don't have any pain. My body is still reaching its limit, and I'm only in my sixties, but I'm really not reconciled. I really don't want to, to die like this. Indeed, Neil really doesn't want to die like this, his wife is in her forties, and his son is growing up rapidly, just like that, he doesn't want to die, but. However, he was full of helplessness. He suddenly found that he couldn't make any changes at all, and everything was in front of his eyes. This is the power of death. I don't even have the power to resist, I can only watch all this happen. Father. Tezolo looked at Neil and said nervously, your body. Neil shook his head and said, my body is not a big problem. Under the care of my eldest brother, there is no injury. To put it bluntly, my body has problems in essence. I have gradually reached the ultimate of life. This is something that cannot be stopped at all. Ah. Uh, sighing silently, Neil knew that this was something that could not be changed. This was because life had reached its limit, not for any other reason. Under such circumstances, even if he tried his best to stop him, it would be useless. Anyway. On this sea, there are very few people who can change their lives. Countless people want to live longer, but the final result. It has no meaning at all. Because of this, in this under the circumstances, then the result is naturally beyond doubt. Tezolo looked at his slightly decadent father, he didn't know what to say, he knew. His father had always been like this, his father didn't want to die, his father wanted to follow the uncle, the father, the three uncle, they continue to set foot on the apex of this world. Actually, there is nothing wrong with this, no matter who it is, everyone wants to set foot on the top, this is also a very normal thing, no matter who it is, it is not surprising that everyone wants to set foot on the top. Luo knew, but, he couldn't change it, and the only thing he could do in the end was to help his father, go down step by step, and help his father to witness the style of the fixed point. He he he, however, Neil raised his head and said quietly, although, it is really full of unwillingness. 
But ah, in my life, it is actually enough, even if I am unwilling, it is meaningless, there is no need for this. Ah, so far, it's enough for me. Squinting slightly, Neil knew that for himself, he had worked hard enough in this life, and he had been brilliant enough in this life. However, for myself, it is really full of unwillingness and regret. Uncle Neil, um, Guillaume. Neil was slightly taken aback when he saw Guillaume who suddenly appeared, and said, Guillaume, what's wrong? Guillaume, Tezolo. Guillaume and Tezolo also said hello respectively, and then, Guillaume said, Uncle Neil, father called you, and, it should be something very important. Huh, 99. Hearing Guillaume's words, Neil was stunned. He was full of excitement. Has big brother succeeded? Could it be said? Big brother really succeeded. Thinking of such a possibility, Neil is also full of excitement. With endless excitement. He stood up and hurriedly said, go. Go. It is good. Guillaume left with Neil, and then, Tezolo quickly followed. Although he didn't know what was going on, seeing his father's excited appearance was obviously a good thing. Well, in that case, hurry up and take a look. That's how the group left, and as the others left, Neil's wife tilted her head, she didn't know what was going on, but she didn't participate in it, and just quietly prepared for the night. Dinner. That was enough, she knew that no matter what it was, her husband and son would never forget her. Exclamation mark. Snapped. Snapped. The door was pushed open, and a group of three walked into the study. Neil looked at the elder brother who was sitting on the armchair, lit a cigarette, and smoked. Neil's hope burned again. From now on, he knows. He has been notified that there are two possibilities, the first is success, his eldest brother succeeds, and the second is failure. But, Neil knows, no matter which outcome, the elder brother of his own family will inform himself. And under such circumstances, Neil also came. He saw the appearance of his eldest brother and knew that the result should be a success, because Neil really knew too much about his eldest brother. Time. Decades are the strangest thing if you don't understand it. Big brother. Neil spoke softly, while Alan just smiled and said casually, go ahead and talk. It is good. Neil sat down, and Alan said directly, Neil, I have researched a method that allows you to continue living. However, this method needs to transform you without affecting you. You will no longer be a human being, but a citizen of the Shadow Kingdom. Hum. Following Neil's words, black shadows appeared on the ground, and members of the ghost group emerged, their eyes flashing with terrifying light, like a roar. Like a ghost, it is full of endless terror and terror. But, this should not be the case. The Shadow Core, they should be like cold machines, not the way they are now, obviously. There are some problems, which is undeniable, and Alan does it was done, and he brought the power of the Shadow Core into full play. This is Alan's self-confidence. It turns out, this period of research has indeed made Alan successful. Ha ha ha, Alan said with a smile. Soldiers of the Dark Shadow Core. Immortal and immortal, their lifespan is linked to me, as long as Lao Tzu is still alive, they will be immortal warriors, and although they have lost their instincts and reason, it is the most perfect soldier, but. Neil, you are different. After your transformation, you will be the most perfect child of the Shadow Kingdom. You have reason, but you have their power, but, you you will always be my people, you can't leave me, will you? Seriously, for many people, such a condition is simply a dream, but there is only one person as the master, but it can have an endless lifespan, and anyone who knows Alan knows that. This, to put it bluntly, he is really a hands-off shopkeeper, and he is not interested in many things at all. That is why, choosing this person is actually not a problem at all. Under such circumstances, as long as he is not an idiot, he must be just know how to choose. Ha ha ha. Listening to his elder brother's words, Neil almost said without hesitation, Brother. You are just joking, do you think I will refuse? I want to live, I have my own ambitions. My ambitions are not because of everything else. Quite the contrary. That's my ambition. I want to see the future. That's my ambition. I want to see the top. Come on, big brother. Of course no problem. 35. The corners of his mouth twitched, and Alan smiled confidently. Of course, there was no problem. One hand hooked, the next moment. A pitch black shadow spread from the ground and instantly attached to Neil's body. What? Neil let out a painful howl, and his body was twisting frantically, and Tezolo was also very worried, this is his father. How could he not be worried? This is for Neil, as one of the important people. Ha, ha, what? Soon, as the dark fog dissipated, Neil's body recovered. He seemed to have recovered his original appearance. When he was young, he felt his body. There is power in it. Seriously. Because Neil has never been exposed to cultivation, he is basically a waste-like physical quality. There is no doubt about this. It's just. At this moment, for the first time, Neil felt the power, which made Neil also emerge. A smile appeared. Neil raised his head and said with a smile, Brother. This kind of feeling is really good. He he he. Alan laughed casually. Of course. How does that feel? From the outside, except for Neil becoming younger, it seems that there is no change at all. In fact, Neil has been completely transformed from beginning to end, in terms of appearance, appearance, strength, heart, reason, etc. 
Everything has been transformed. At the beginning of the experiment, there were indeed failures again and again. Even Alan thought that there was something wrong with the result and that his idea was wrong. Only, with the passage of time, this is not the case at all. In other words, this matter has gradually discovered the problem, and I understand 5.9, where is the root of the problem? The king of the Black Shadow Corps, the two are fundamentally different. Under such circumstances, Alan understands. What happened in the end, because of this? Alan knows what to do next, to put it bluntly. This is the change that he should make, because. It is the core of everything. When he really understood what was going on, Alan naturally knew how to deal with it. Wu, he exhaled a deep puff of smoke, and said in his heart, actually. The changes and circumstances of the Shadow Kingdom are actually my heart. As long as my vest is filled with this feeling, then. In fact, everything is meaningless. That's all. He he he, shaking his head lightly, Alan did not expect that the final result would be like this. Or, he also never thought that the final result, the final problem, would turn out to be like this. This is something people never thought of. Results, isn't it? It can be said, this is indeed the case, no one has ever thought that it would be so simple, as long as one's own thoughts are enough, and if you let Neil just accept the power instead of being transformed, then it's okay, it's so simple, a thought is enough. Enough is enough, no need for those fancy ideas, and no need for those fancy operations. From the beginning to the end, it is so simple, giving people a very strange feeling, but it is so simple. P.S. Sorry, sorry, brothers, I fell asleep directly yesterday and forgot to update. Today's update starts at 10.30, and there will be no less than six shifts in one chapter. I'm really sorry. P.S. 5,000 word chapter. Daily six updates. Second update. Please subscribe. Please customize. Please collect. Chapter 207. The Samurai Who Suddenly Appeared in Wanokuni. Neil has completed the transformation, the perfect people of the Kingdom of Shadows, which Alan calls the transformation of shadows, not only Neil, Neil's wife and all the old people, but also completed the transformation in a short period of time, they are all people who followed Alan at a very early age. If you are incapable and watch them die because of their longevity, then you are dead, but if you have any ability, then you will not let them die like this. Alan is a lunatic, but he is definitely not a lunatic without any feelings. For these old people who have been following themselves, loyal old people, it is natural to be able to solve them. Great. It was a success. Big brother. Ha ha ha. I'm alive again. Everyone was laughing loudly, they were full of excitement, they were all old men who had followed the Allen and Newgate brothers in the first place. Over time, they were like Neil, the body is getting worse day by day, they don't want to die. They follow the elder brother for a lifetime, they want to persevere, they want the elder brother to see the peak, this is what they think. But, their life has really reached the limit, and they don't know if they can keep going. But, right now, they did it, they really came alive again, they really made their lives come alive again, they finally had a second life, and this. It was enough for them. He he he, the corners of Alan's mouth twitched, looking at these guys, the corners of his mouth grinned, and he shouted loudly, hey. Hey, you bastards, how are you feeling now? Big brother, absolutely no problem. Yes, yes. One by one is laughing happily, they are all laughing happily, one by one is full of endless excitement, if you can live. Who would want to die? There is no doubt about it, as long as one can live, no one wants to die. There is a saying that it is better to live than to die. This is true for everyone, and. They do not depend on living, but are true let themselves survive, for them, they are really full of excitement. Ha ha ha. Listening to the guy's words, Alan laughed sassily and said, Okay. It's okay. You bastards. Let me be honest with you one by one. A group of bastards, all get used to their young bodies, and then keep me busy. Oh who. 35. In response to Alan, there was a deafening roar, and everyone was filled with a deafening roar, but they were already ready. They already wanted to restore their youthful bodies. So. For them to come that said, it's a new beginning. After all, once everything was just the beginning, but now, this is the real future. They have to follow the elder brother step by step to see what the future of this world will look like. This is what makes people feel the most. Funny thing. Ha ha ha. Hearing the loud laughter in his ear, Alan grinned, and a smile emerged, then turned around and left. Everything. It's going to be a fresh start. Alan clenched his fist with one hand, his eyes flashed with a sharp light, his breath was very terrifying, and it was full of unparalleled light. Dash exclamation mark. It's just a new beginning, and next, is a new era for the Whitebeard Pirates. After all, when something like this happens, then everything is completely different. Humph. 99. A smile emerged, and Alan turned to leave. Snapped. Snapped. Um. Abel narrowed his eyes and said sharply, is there a problem here? 39. Yes. Brother Abel. The person who brought Abel here nodded and said, Brother Abel. I found the trace of the samurai here, but, last night, I didn't check it immediately, but when I came here again, it was it was found that there was no trace at all. Only, 
He was a little hesitant when he said this, if it was his own hallucination, then it would be a waste of time. But, snapped. Abel put a hand on his shoulder and said seriously, Brother. Take it easy. No matter what, if you find out, you will report it. This is a very important matter, and it is impossible to do it at any time. To the effect, Wanokuni has a problem, we must be vigilant enough, otherwise. No one knows what the situation in Wanokuni will be like, if something goes wrong, none of us can take responsibility for it. Um, brother Abel, I see. The younger brother nodded firmly, while Abel narrowed his eyes and said secretly, it seems. There is indeed a problem, in that case. Abel thought for a while, let's go. We'll investigate the situation here later, and deal with the weapons factory first. Okay. Brother Abel. 35. Hearing this, the younger brother nodded immediately, and the two of them just left. Only, as he left, Abel squinted his eyes and said secretly, there is a problem here. Although it is only looming, but my feelings are reminding myself that there are very terrifying monsters here. Brother Abel, are we just leaving? The younger brother also asked curiously. Although he said something ambiguous, he was absolutely certain that he had definitely found the traces. Otherwise, it would be impossible to bring Abel to check. Abel shook his head and said, Don't think more about this matter, and the follow-up matters will be discussed later, let's go back and talk about it, there is a problem. There is a very big problem. Um, listening to Abel's words, the younger brother also nodded obediently, as if he didn't know at all, this matter has come to an end, and that's the best way. As the two left, a pair of looming eyes emerged from the ruins. Their looming eyes eventually disappeared without a trace, as if they had never appeared. Soon, in a building in the Julie area, Abel, what's the situation? Yes, Quinn, Enel, Carmenio, Bullet, these people are people who have been located in Wanokuni for a lot of time, they all came here, and they don't understand what Abel means. Abel said with serious eyes, there is a problem. And it is a big problem. Nine. What's up? Everyone was stunned for a moment, and they all sat down with very serious expressions. They know, Abel's character is an extremely calm person. For Abel, all problems will be carefully considered and dealt with. If there is no big problem, then, it is absolutely impossible for Abel to say in this case. Only, this is something that makes people feel very strange. It shouldn't be, Wanokuni is completely under control, and there can be no problem. If there is a problem from the outside, then it's okay to say, but now. Is Wanokuni having a problem from within? This is impossible, right? This is something that makes everyone feel weird, isn't it very weird and weird? Um, Abel said seriously, I found traces of samurai inside Wanokuni. Moreover, it is definitely a powerful monster. My instinct told me, that person, are yes. Those people are very terrifying, like monsters with the same power. Um, listening to Abel's words, everyone fell into thinking. If this is the case, it would be a very troublesome thing. What is the result of this matter? This is an extremely important matter matter. This, Kamineo sat cross-legged on the ground and thought, if this is the case, this is proof that a special power has appeared in Wanokuni again. It's just, this is strange, this should not be done. Wanokuni should be inside it's almost cleared up, shouldn't there be more samurai? Wrong. No. 35. Bullet shook his head and said, it's not that it's almost cleaned up, but everything has been cleaned up. It's impossible to leave any resisting samurai. And that's a problem in itself. Really. Abel said seriously, it seems. Either there are bugs from the outside world that have mixed into Wanokuni, or. For some reason, someone came to Wanokuni from an unknown place. A terrifying killing intent emerged, but Abel's breath became terrifying, and he said in a low voice, Quinn, Enel, do you think it's possible for Uncle to say it? Uncle, what did you say? Quinn and Enel were stunned for a moment, then they both nodded and said, the possibility is very high. Although what the uncle said looks very dreamy, but, the two devil fruits both exist, in that case, then the situation exists. Um, really, Abel's eyes were full of endless seriousness, this is the situation of Wanokuni. Sure enough, the situation of Wanokuni is very special, no one knows what is going on here, but it is obvious. Among Wanokuni, there are many the problem, and, the problem is definitely not that simple to describe. Indeed. 35. Listening to Abel's words, Quinn nodded and said, Abel, what should we do next? Indeed. Someone is coming. No matter who it is, this is indeed something that needs to be figured out, but, more is to think about how to deal with it. If it can't be dealt with, then it is meaningless to say anything. Abel shook his head and said, I don't know. I can be sure that we are not the opponent's opponent, and the opponent's number is not many, only three or five people. Don't be surprised. Abel, as the Lunaria clan, as a race that was once called a god, of course the Lunaria clan does not mean that there are only people who can adapt to survive in any environment, but have very special, and that terrifying perception, these. These are all abilities that are standard for the Lunaria clan, so to speak. There is no doubt that Abel possesses such ability. Therefore, right now, Abel, on the other hand, was thinking about the situation and after careful consideration in his heart, he said, 
the other party's strength is very strong. We can't do anything to resist simply by relying on our strength. Go to the uncle, the old man and the third uncle. A matter. It must be handled by three people. Good. 35. Carmenio. Bullet. Quinn. Enel. Everyone is arrogant, but. What they have to admit is that Abel's judgment in this regard is very clear, although they are arrogant, but they know that their strength is definitely not enough to solve all this, if it continues, it will be very troublesome. So, the best way is to find someone to solve it, and Abel gave an order, take our troops out, gradually withdraw from Julie, leave Julie directly, and don't let our brothers suffer casualties. It is good, Quinn stood up and went to prepare immediately. Vice Admiral's own people were called out, and the people belonging to the Kurozumi Orochi could torture these guys themselves. Just wait and see how things change. It will soon be known that Wanokuni is in the end, is what happened. Obviously, no matter what the result is, they will appear, after all. Since they have already come to Wanokuni, of course, it is impossible for them to remain as turtles, no matter who they are 937. But, they will definitely come out, just when will it appear? And that's the most important thing, there's no need to rush. Not to mention, the initiative, but the master is in his own hands, in that case. I also want to see what the next situation will be. Um, Abel squinted his eyes and thought carefully about many questions in his heart, secretly thinking about things that he had not considered. The Moby Dick is docked at nine miles, in other words. If there is a problem and you want to deal with it, it is definitely an easy thing to do, but because of that. But, this matter is not so easy to deal with, but requires very serious consideration and resolution of many things, otherwise. It is not an easy task. M.A. Abel secretly said. The aura of that path is very terrifying, it is like a monster, but the strength of these guys is really not weak. Be careful, if there is any carelessness, then pay it's the price of life. Wu, taking a deep breath, Abel knew very well how terrifying the other party was. Moreover, what kind of strength did the other party have? Otherwise, something will really happen. Therefore, this is the most important and fundamental reason. Abel is very clear about this point, and because of this, from beginning to end, he does not dare to be careless. If he were alone, he could be arrogant, and he could be full of hockey, but I can't take the lives of all my brothers to joke. There are at least five or six hundred brothers in Julie. These people are all their own brothers. Are they taking the lives of these people to make a joke? Stop it. This is absolutely impossible, at least. Abel can never forgive himself for doing this. For Abel, he has a home he lost again in the Whitebeard Pirates, but because of this, if he abandons his brothers and sisters again, and if you give up with your own hands, then it is absolutely impossible to do it yourself. This, Abel absolutely cannot do it. This is the most fundamental and most important thing. Because of this, Abel knows that he must be fully prepared, and he must not let his brothers die here like this. If this is the case, then, Abel himself will never forgive himself, Abel can't do it, because of his negligence, all his brothers die as a result, this is something Abel can't allow. Who, finally, taking a deep breath, Abel calmed down his heart. P.S. 5000 word chapter. Daily 6 updates. Third update. Please subscribe. Please customize. Please collect. Chapter 208. Ghost Island. Black Maria. Wow. Wow. With the strong wind, the waves washed over the island, and this island is an island on the edge of Wanokuni, its name is, Ghost Island. Only, in the past 10 years, this ghost island has been transformed again and again, and gradually formed a very special island. I have to say, Kaido really has a kind of ghost island for this island. The feeling of love at first sight, the first time we met was to directly fall in love with this ghost island. Kaido directly transformed this ghost island, not only the ghost island, but also the Moby Dick. The two can be perfectly combined and can be separated, of course. The power to rely on is mainly it comes from Kaido, and it relies on the flame cloud created by Kaido, that's all. It's understandable. Ha ha ha. Drink. 99. It's fun. 99. He he he. At this moment, all gathered on the ghost island are some of the little ghosts that Kaido has subdued. These little ghosts are all very good, they are all Kaido's adopted sons, most of them are a group. Um, booze. That's right. These guys are basically similar to Kaido, they are all a group of drunkards, they all belong to the type that just likes to drink, and for drinking, they are more or less dead. For such a group of little devils, Kaido said that it is fundamental it's nothing, it's all my own son, it doesn't matter. And, the ghost island comes in from the outside, and the inside is really very beautiful. It's like a small city. It's basically similar to the original book. It's full of Japanese-style buildings. Kaido also lives here a lot of the time. When you arrive at Wanokuni, detach the Onishima from the Moby Dick, and assemble it together when you leave. Um, that's about it, and these ghost islands are really huge, and Kaido's adopted sons are also followers of Kaido living in ghost islands, including his wife Mizi, and daughter Yamato, all live in ghost islands, it can be said. The Kaido family are all living on ghost island. Worororo. Enjoyed. Kaido squinted his eyes comfortably and said happily, it's really cool. 
It's cool. So many fine wines are really too enjoyable. This fellow Orochi is finally quite sensible. Knowing that he brought so much fine wine to Lao Tzu. Quote. Kaido. Drink less. Uh. Hearing this gentle voice, Kaido immediately twitched the corners of his mouth, turned his head, and looked at his wife, who was about the same height as him, but only a head shorter than him. It was his wife, Edward Miko. Edward Miko. She is from Wanokuni. What was her last name? Hum. It doesn't matter. Miko has a beautiful face, wears a jet black kimono, and has a very gentle personality, of course. Just like a woman like Yamato Nadako. Only. Miko is also a woman who is very serious in certain aspects. Miko is the big housekeeper of the entire Whitebeard Pirates. If Neil manages the finances, then Miko is the manager of everything. As Kaido's wife, she is also under the control of three brothers, trusted. And Mizi also has a degree of advance and retreat, and she knows how to deal with everything. This also makes Alan and Nugate appreciate their younger brother and sister more and more. The result, if Kaido has some ideas, then it is estimated that his head will was opened. With the protection of the eldest and second brothers, Miko has no idea, but. For some things, it is very unacceptable, especially the husband and the child. Her husband and daughter, Miko is very serious, and she is very serious about other adopted children. And all things, Miko handles it properly, and a lot of times, she won't be too violent. But it is different for my husband and daughter. That what? He he tilde operator tilde operator tilde operator. Kaido said with a smile, it's okay. It's okay. Miko, I just want to drink some wine. This is the wine prepared by the big snake guy, it's really good. Huh. 39. Looking at Kaido, Miko also gently shook her head and said, forget it, today is so good, you can't drink too much, no matter what time it is, there is no absolute safety on this sea, we are on the ghost island, not on the Moby Dick, it may not be absolutely safe. Otherwise, something will happen. Pipe pipe. No problem. Don't worry, Miko. Kaido also smiled and nodded. Of course, he knew that his wife was like this. Many times, his wife was such a character. He considered everything very seriously. Don't let anything, gaps and loopholes appear in any position, and this is the character of his wife. Of course, although Kaido looks careless, but ah, if someone really thinks Kaido is carefree, then you are probably not far from death. If anyone really thinks so, it is definitely a brain problem. Kaido can it is said to be careless, but the overall mind and strength are absolutely terrifying. What? Lost again. Damn it. 35. Yamato also played with the person who was playing dice, and the result. She lost again, which is worth mentioning. Yamato's luck is really not very good, at least in gambling, Yamato's luck is really very bad that's it. Um, just finished dealing with Kaido, and Miko turned her head and saw Yamato, frowning slightly, she can only say. This father and daughter is really worrying. Yamato. Huh. 35. Yamato turned his head in embarrassment, looked at his mother, scratched his head and said, Mom. I just followed. I didn't play. He he. 66.99. The other people retreated silently. They knew that their mother didn't allow their sister to touch these things. It wasn't that she didn't allow it, but she felt that her sister was too young and needed to grow up. But ah, how to say that, Yamato is always going to grow up, she is also growing fast, and looking at Yamato's appearance, Mizi also gently shook her head and said, Yamato. This is not allowed next time. You child. He he. Yamato smiled cutely, and this also made Miko shake her head helplessly. What can I do? This is my daughter. I can't do anything about it, and seeing Yamato's cute appearance, Miko also patted Yamato. The dust on his body, he said gently. Okay, don't make a fool of yourself next, do you hear? Hum. 99. Um, nodding cutely, Yamato gave a thumbs up that he heard it all, and Miko shook her head. Snapped, snapped. At this moment, with the sound of footsteps, Abel, Quinn, Carmenio, Enel, Bullet, the five little ghosts have come back with great strides. And the others have also returned. Hum, all the members of the Whitebeard Pirates add up to a total of about 7,000 people. And these people are the adopted sons of Nugate and Kaido, but many of them will follow the people who go to sea and leave. It's not that Alan doesn't allow people who go out to sea to recruit their own crew, but you have to send it back and be recognized, after all. The people on the Moby Dick are all people you can trust, but the people you recruit outside, really are you sure it's not Marines, Sword people and CP organization people? These are all things you can't be sure of. Because of this, these are very important, and you need to think about them carefully. After all, under such circumstances, if there is a problem, the result may be fatal. It will make people feel endless horror, and this is the fundamental reason. Because of this, you must not be careless, even if it is just a little careless, the result is fatal. This is also the reason for sending it back. After passing the assessment, there is no problem. Forehead. To put it bluntly, let Alan see that Alan's observation hockey has developed the ability to foresee the future and spy on people's hearts. It can be said, Alan has really developed his own abilities, basically nothing. Problem. Therefore, 
This is the fundamental reason, and the configuration of each pirate group of the Whitebeard pirate group is 300 people, and now the number of people who have not yet built the pirate ship has reached 13 people. Basically, this is the number of 3,900 people, and the rest of the entire headquarters has suddenly become the number of less than 3,000 people, of course. These are nothing, the strength is strong, and it doesn't matter in terms of number of people. Who? A puff of smoke was exhaled, and Kaido looked at the five people who came back with interest and asked, Abel, what's the problem? As the eldest son among his adopted sons, Kaido knows how excellent Abel's ability is, it can be said. Abel's aptitude may not be the strongest. Bullet, Carmenio, Tiger, Enel are all monster-like aptitudes, but in terms of ability, this. Then you have to admit that Abel's ability is the most outstanding, and even makes people feel terribly excellent. And now, Abel came back with everyone, obviously there was a problem, there is absolutely no doubt about it. Hum. 99. Abel nodded and said. Dad, something happened. The brothers found that there were traces of warriors in Julie. Moreover, I felt a strong strength. The most important thing is that there is a person's breath. Um. Hearing Abel's words, Kaido's mouth twitched in amusement. Worororo. Is it like this? Interesting. Interesting. It really makes me find it interesting. Abel, you go to inform the eldest brother and the second brother, it's just right. I want to see what kind of resistance these guys will make, and all the people who belong to us in Wanokuni or if they want to resist, they need to rescue the slaves. It doesn't matter. Along with the big laugh, Kaido stood up fiercely, with terrifying light flashing in his eyes, and said sharply, I really want to see what kind of strength the other party has. Moreover, I want to let these things go. Everyone knows very well that Wanokuni is the territory of our Whitebeard pirates, making them lose hope forever. Just be good as a slave, that's enough. Snapped. Clenching his fist with one hand, Kaido's eyes flashed with terrifying light, and he was full of terrifying killing intent. He is already ready for all battles, don't you want hope? Don't you want to resist? No problem. Now resistance and hope are in front of you. If so, let Lao Tzu see what your strength is, or in other words. Next, what can you do? Backquote backquote he he he. Kaido smiled coldly, and there was only endless killing intent in his eyes. It is good. Abel nodded immediately, just started to deal with it, he will deal with it all, and as Abel left, the killing intent in Kaido's eyes became more and more terrifying, just kidding. Since someone wants to if you do something, then deal with it properly, let yourself see, what exactly are these people thinking? Um, Yamato walked inside the ghost island, but said helplessly, really? Dad and the others are going to fight again, and I want to join the fight too. Sister. No. Nine. And following Yamato's side is a cute little girl, she looks very well behaved, obediently said, sister, mother said, you can't let you participate in the battle. All right. Yamato smacked her lips helplessly. The girl behind her was actually older than Yamato, but, how should I put it, although she said so, but she has become Kaido's righteousness in the past few days. The girl, naturally, is Yamato's sister. After all, on this sea, it is not age, but strength. If it is really sorted by age, then many rankings are not what people know. Of course, these are just words. This girl is called Black Maria, an orphan of Wanokuni. She came to the ghost island by accident. When she was drifting at sea, she almost died. She was recognized by Kaido as her righteous daughter, that's all. Black Maria became Kaido's righteous daughter and Yamato's younger sister, but Black Maria is very sensible. In addition to her daily studies, she is often appointed by Miko to watch Yamato. Yamato was watched by Black Maria. And, for his sister, Yamato is also very helpless. How can I say it? It really gives me a headache. Alas, Nuo Hao Jiao. With a helpless sigh, Yamato shook his head and said, it's really boring. I also want to participate in the battle. It must be a very interesting thing. Yamato really wants to participate in the battle, from childhood to adulthood. Yamato's strength is actually very strong, although he is only two years old. But how do you say that, Yamato's strength is very strong? It's really a no-brainer thing. Only, it is not surprising that Yamato is not allowed to participate in the battle by his own mother, after all. Yamato is also his daughter after all, and she is only two years old. Such a small age age, let it participate in the battle. Question mark question mark question mark. That is absolutely impossible. Because of this, although Yamato said that he has always wanted to try, but every time he is blocked. Moreover, Yamato also feels that these are really for his own good. If he is really self-willed, really it is not a good boy, so say. Yamato is also very clear. Hmm. 99. Seeing that her sister finally listened to the persuasion, Black Maria was also very helpless. Although it didn't take long, Black Maria knew her sister very well, and the character of her sister was just like that. Not at all. With a persuasive personality, do you want to persuade your elder sister? But it's really not an easy task. Check it out now. My sister is finally willing to obey. This is the best thing. All right. It's all right at last. Hmm. 35. Let's go and eat. Yamato and Black Maria just left, it's just. 
This war is not over, or rather, it's just the beginning. What's next? What will happen? Ha ha ha. P.S. 5000 word chapter. Daily 6 updates. Fourth update. Please subscribe. Please customize. Please collect. Chapter 209. Freed slaves. Blocked Julie area. Tick tock. Tick tock. Hurry up. Hurry up. You rubbish fellows. You are simply not worth mentioning. Ha ha ha. Kurozumi Orochi's subordinates frantically beat the warriors in front of them in the weapon factory. They used to be the high-ranking warriors of Wanokuni, but now they are sitting humble as servants. Everyone's eyes are without any eyes, just filled with endless numbness. Or, they've lost hope, they've been living their lives as walking dead like this, it's over, for them, their lives have reached the limit, step by step, so to speak. They've lost them will. Now they are just a group of humble walking dead, as long as they can live, once their beliefs. Once their spirits, everything is meaningless, and this is their fate. He he he, how sad. Yes. 35. With this tragic voice, and when night fell, they too were lying in their dirty cells, they had only a bitter voice, and with this low voice, they didn't know what they could do, they could only feel the endless sadness is too painful for them. But, they have no solution at all. Only this endless sadness covers them, and all they feel is this endless pain. Everyone was lying on the ground like a walking dead. We will always go on like this, right? Yes, we've always been like this, we've lost our faith, we're just walking dead like this, let's go on like this forever. L. Everyone closed their eyes quietly, they had no faith in life, that kind of silence, that kind of silence, they didn't know what to say, but they suffered endless pain. It's too painful, especially for them, it is from the heart, from the soul, endless pain. Remaining silent, they are not powerless, nor are they unable to resist, it is just. It is a meaningless thing at all, they have lost their beliefs. Not to mention other countries, but Wanokuni is completely different. The warriors of Wanokuni, what they support is the Kazuki clan, for them, the Kazuki clan is their beliefs, their everything, it can be said. The Kazuki clan represents everything for themselves, and this is everything they Kazuki clan. Ugh. With this silent sigh, every 937 people quietly close their eyes, sleep. Thing. It can be seen in the original book that Luffy rescued them, but. For them, this is not an important matter, or rather. What they need is not a solution, but the emergence of true faith. For them, what they need is the belief in life, what they need is their own fundamental appearance, that is, the Kazuki family, if there is no Kazuki family, then everything is meaningless. Only, right now, huh, under the night, a wisp of breeze blew slowly, and one after another silhouettes gradually emerged. One of the men, with his arms around his chest and a famous sword in his arms, said calmly, is this the future Wanokuni? That Wanokuni, where everyone laughed, turned into such a painful gathering place. 99. What? It really makes people feel helpless. But, the more this is the case, the more we have to go on. This is Wanokuni. No matter what it is, we must strengthen our beliefs. We came here to save this Wanokuni. Father. That's right. That's what we came back for. Whitebeard pirates. Accompanied by the voice, the man at the head fell into silence. He didn't know what he should say. In the end, he silently shook his head. He didn't know what he should say, but he didn't know what to say. What the hell, but no matter what. These are already unimportant things. Next, it is the beginning of the real war, everything is not important, everything is meaningless, next. It is the beginning of the battle, and everyone's eyes are shining with determination light. They want to save this Wanokuni, of course. Just relying on the strength of the four of them is not enough, and to save this Wanokuni, you need samurai, and there are 30,000 samurai troops imprisoned here. After 10 years, the 50,000 strong samurai army in Wanokuni Kuri has died almost 20,000 people, and the remaining 30,000 people have also become walking dead. However, this is enough for them, as long as they wake up their power. Then everything is beyond doubt. Who? Let's go. Um. The four of them all looked serious, they were about to start, and there should be absolutely no hesitation. Boom boom boom. Boom. In an instant, the roar began to resound. What's the matter? Enemy attack. Damn, someone dares to attack the weapons factory. Where are the Whitebeard pirates? Everyone from the Whitebeard pirates has been evacuated. What? The people in the weapons factory who belong to Kurozumi Orochi all showed disbelief. If they bullied the market and did these things, it would be fine. If you let them show their strength to face such an attacker. Stop making trouble. If they had such strength, they would have solved everything long ago, to put it bluntly. Their strength is not enough. Because of this, at this moment, everyone is in shock and confusion. Isn't this situation too weird? Can. No matter what, the battle is going to continue, they have to block each other's attack, after all. The other party shows no mercy, they all belong to Kurozumi Orochi's direct line troops. No matter at any time, other people may all can surrender. But they absolutely cannot surrender, because their surrender may face death. Therefore, under such terrifying circumstances, don't even think about surrendering. It's meaningless. Boom. Boom. 
The roar exploded in the ears, and with this deafening roar, everyone in the prison seemed to have opened their eyes, and they looked outside blankly, as if they didn't know what was going on. But for them, it doesn't seem to be important at all. They don't care about it all, and they fall into a kind of silence. They don't know what will happen next. In silence, everyone is silent. This moment, everyone is caught in this silence, which cannot be described in words. They really don't know what to do, because they have reached their limit, and their lives have reached the peak, and they cannot resist. He he he, how ironic. 35. Yes, that's it. No matter what happens, what does it have to do with us? Indeed, everyone is in this mood, they close their eyes again, for them, all this is meaningless, they can't change it, they can't stop it, it's all is a meaningless thing. It's really ironic. This is the most ironic thing, and the thing that people don't know what to say. They used to be a group of monsters that ran rampant in the Juli area. In the past, they were Wanokuni's most elite samurai troops. Now they are a group of garbage who can only quietly close their eyes and wait for death. For them, they have reached the limit, that is, quietly waiting for the arrival of death, which is the most despairing yes. Isn't it? He <laughs> he. It is really full of endless irony, their lives are coming to an end like this, everything is like this. Snapped. Snapped. At this moment, a footstep sounded, and as the footsteps came, everyone raised their heads silently. They looked at the person walking by, and seemed to be thinking about who the person was coming. Woolen cloth. As time passed, the door was pushed open, and a tall figure appeared in front of everyone. Every AGFJ, bit. It really made you wait so long. I am back. They were all stunned by this familiar figure who came back. Some of them had widened their eyes, and even rubbed their own eyes, as if full of disbelief. What happened? What is this situation? They don't know. They don't know what happened. Everyone is like this. They can't believe it at all. What the hell is going on? 1. You. Some people stretched out their hands tremblingly, although they knew. No one could fool them, but they really felt endless fear, and they really dared not imagine, which means that they are still alive. Bring it on. Single quote exclamation mark. 95. Follow me and save our Wanokuni. 39. Roar. The atmosphere changed instantly, and the terrifying roar resounded instantly. Wu, standing on the top of the mountain, listening to the roar from below, Alan let out a faint puff of smoke, and said casually, it's really a familiar figure. As expected by Lao Tzu, the fruit of time. Fruit. 35. It's really two very powerful devil fruits, it's a pity. That's the end of it, after all, it's already meaningless. Big Brother. T. 55. Newgate and Kaido both walked over step by step, stood beside Alan, and looked down at the weapons factory below, Newgate said interestingly, Brother. It seems that things are getting worse and worse. The more interesting it is. There is such an opponent. 5. What? Alan nodded and said. Obviously. These guys have come from the past to the present and from the future to the present, and. It seems that there is a problem somewhere. Alan thought it was very interesting, and sure enough. Just as he guessed, the time traveler seems to be different, and there are some people who should not appear at this time. However, Alan also thinks that it doesn't matter. These things, I will gradually study it clearly in the future. I know this broken system, I can get a reward after I have extracted all the templates, a total of 18 templates. Years of history, if you wait until the moment when you reach the history book of the years, the world is probably completely in the palm of your hand, and everything is beyond doubt. Because of this, Alan is just watching quietly now, looking forward to what might happen next. That's right. 35. Alan asked. The third child, is the Julie area completely blocked? This is one thing. It's enough to make a scene in the Julie area, it's better not to spread it out. Big brother. Don't worry. Kaido raised his eyebrows and said very calmly. Everything is ready, there is no problem at all, there will definitely be no problem. Um. Alan nodded and said. Of course this is the best result, just right, I also want to see, what steps can these guys achieve. He he he, it really is more and more to go again. Alan's smile is getting stronger and stronger. This is from the past. The future. A group of guys who have come to the present, but I am very curious, what is the strength of these guys? Or rather, what will happen to these guys next? What kind of thing? The more intense the smile, Alan also finds it more and more interesting. It's not that he is joking, but, things are really getting more and more interesting. Wanokuni. This country obviously has many problems, and what will happen next? This is the most interesting thing. Alan wants to see what will happen next. Seriously. The country of Wanokuni wants to start a country. In fact, it is not an easy task at all. Only by destroying the surrounding walls can the country be founded. But, this is not an easy task at all. After so many years, it has already come together as a whole. Unless it is a terrifying monster like the Lord, or rather. In addition, other people are gathered together, of course. These are all things that are not important at all, and there are many problems that have already been placed it's in sight. In Wanokuni's case, it's not easy to start a country. What's more, Wanokuni basically won't start a country, even Momosuke. Does he really want to start a country? 
By relying on the power of the elephant, he can start a country directly. For the external situation, Momosuke doesn't know. Therefore, this is the fundamental reason, Momosuke doesn't want to start a country from the beginning to the end, he just wants to rule Wanokuni, this is the fundamental reason. So, everything is not so simple at all. Well, it's almost there, let's go. 99. Hum. 55. Alan flicked the coat behind him and left with his two younger brothers. Next, since the other party is ready. So let's see for ourselves, are they prepared enough? Hee <laughs> hee. A cruel smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Alan's killing intent was still terrifying enough, and he didn't need so much nonsense. And he didn't need too much hesitation, because all of this was nothing but meaningless things. It's all small issues. I just want to see for myself what the next result will be. After all, I have rarely encountered such a suitable opponent for so many years. Humph. The corners of Alan's mouth twitched, and he said savagely, Next, let Lao Tzu come and see. Are your preparations sufficient and your strength strong enough? 35. Search. Licking the corner of his mouth, Alan felt that the smile was very strong, and an interesting smile emerged. Ten years have passed. How powerful are the three Edward brothers? P.S. 5000 word chapter. Daily six updates. Fifth update. Please subscribe. Please customize. Please collect. Chapter 210. Now. Past. Future. Interweaving of the three. Clap clap clap. Snapped. The three brothers were walking on the road, and Newgate also said with emotion, Brother. I always think it's very wonderful. It's really interesting that these people will appear in front of us again. I never thought, such a thing could happen. Obviously, for Newgate, it is indeed very interesting, of course. It is not because the dead appear in front of his eyes again, it is not the case, for him, the dead appear in front of his eyes again, in fact, it's nothing. Or rather, it's a, very small thing. After all, on this sea, although it is said that the means of resurrecting the dead are very rare, but his elder brother's abilities are very special. This time, what Newgate felt most special was that the deceased person not only appeared in front of him again, but also. As if it was a different person, it felt very dreamy and very special, it just feels so weird. Woo. Alan exhaled a puff of smoke, but thoughtfully said, Actually, this matter is quite understandable. I think about how to tell you guys. Hum. Squinting. Alan was thinking about how to explain it and said, Second and third, do you know that the fruit of time travels from the past to the present? Um. Um. The two brothers nodded, and Newgate said, Big brother. I still know about this matter. The ability of the fruit of time is to travel from the past to the present, and it can only travel unilaterally, but not backward. The devil fruit that crosses over is the fruit of the past point three five. Kaido also continued. Brother, although the two devil fruits are said to have been recorded 800 years ago, they are indeed real. In recent years, many of our company's CP organizations are looking for this devil fruit, they also know the particularity of this devil fruit. That's right. In the past ten years, the Whitebeard pirates sailed on the sea, in addition to taking action against all forces, in fact. There are also some very normal things, that is, very simple things, this is undoubted thing. After all, sailing on this sea, for a full ten years, you will always meet some guys and fight with each other, in addition to that. There are still some things that need to be paid attention to, and these things are very the most important thing is the most important, the most fundamental. The most important thing. The CP organization, the sword special unit, these people are always thinking about infiltrating the Whitebeard Pirates. For them, infiltrating the Whitebeard Pirates means more is absolutely unquestionable, and that's why. Infiltration is always ongoing, and over time. The Whitebeard Pirates also showed great strength. Your infiltration, it's not worth mentioning at all. To put it bluntly, I just didn't pay attention to it at all, just didn't pay attention to a guy like you. If you want to get rid of it, of course, do it casually, but for the beheading of the CP organization, you also know some secrets. Time fruit. Past fruit. Dark fruit. Rubber fruit. These devil fruits are all the world government is looking for. Devil fruit. Woo. Alan exhaled a puff of smoke and nodded after listening to Kaido's words, that's right. The world government naturally knows the particularity of these special devil fruits, after all. The power that such devil fruits can exert is. It's too terrifying, if you say it. It's really at this point in time that someone was sent to the future, or someone from the future was sent to the present. Don't you think it's a very dangerous thing? Um. The two brothers nodded seriously when they thought about it. It was true. If it was true, it would be extremely dangerous, but the problem is. Newgate thought about it and said, Brother. Ah, that person died under my hands ten years ago. If he were to travel through time, he would only come from the past to the present. He shouldn't look like he was this age. Yes. 35. Kaido also nodded and said, Brother. It always feels very strange, it seems that something is not right. He he he. Alan raised the corner of his mouth and continued. So, this is the most interesting part of time. Remember what Lao Tzu asked you. Our past is fixed. In other words, our past is already what happened, traveled from the past time, this is a more interesting thing, what do you think it will be like? 
this. Listening to Alan's words, the two brothers pondered for a while, and Kaido said, Big brother. In other words, the arrival of the other party is actually what it should be. To put it bluntly, all of this is a fixed thing. Kaido suddenly reacted, and for a moment, there was a feeling of dread. Yes, I think that everything I have is my own doing, in fact, is this something that has been destined by fate? This, at this moment, Kaido actually felt a sense of powerlessness. This was the first time he felt this way. Even when he was facing the invincible captain of the rocks, he had never felt this way before. It's too desperate, it's really too desperate, and it seems that I have no power to fight back. Well, 55, Alan nodded and said, if you say that, it's almost the same, but. Calm down for Lao Tzu, what a fixed fate. Are you kidding me? I'm still here, I've remembered it all. The fate of I is in the hands of the master, and your fate is also in the hands of the master, and no one can change it, so it's your destiny, but it's just some people's self-deception. 66.99. Listening to the reprimand of the elder brother, the two brothers stayed calm and gradually regained their calm. Yes, for them, no matter what. At the very least, everything that they have experienced is real. If this is the case, isn't everything real? There is no doubt about it. Things, more nonsense are meaningless things, and things that don't need to be considered at all. This is the basic core. Um, looking at the two recovered people, Alan nodded, in fact. How should I put it, their original destiny is indeed doomed. But because of his arrival, he changed everything, to put it bluntly, the future has been completely changed, because of that. So everything is different. Do you understand now, big brother, we know. Ooh, Newgate laughed and said, I'm really shameful. I actually believe in this so-called fate, really. I feel like an idiot. Wororo. Kaido also laughed proudly and said, isn't it? I feel like a fool to do such a thing, it's really like an idiot. Kaido also has this idea, and Newgate is also laughing heroically, both brothers find it very interesting, and Alan said casually, okay. Don't be lazy to discuss these things, the fruit of time. People can be brought over from the past, this matter does not need to be said, this is something we all know, and now it is obviously. People have arrived. Um, besides, fruit of the past, this devil fruit can send people from the future to the first comers, and because of this, this is the most interesting thing. Our past is fixed, but is our future fixed? Listening to the elder brother's words, the two brothers were stunned for a moment, and they couldn't be called a bolt from the blue, but it seemed that they were almost the same. Look, what do you mean? Or say, they finally reacted. It is so, it is so, is it because of such a thing? This moment, they fell into a different kind of silence, as if thinking about how to deal with the next thing, and Alan's mouth twitched, what he said with a smile, do you understand now? Our past is certain, but our future is full of grandeur. Do you understand now? Um, the two brothers are not idiots. Although it is said that this thing is a bit big, they still understand it quickly, and Alan raised the corners of his mouth interestingly, and it is undeniable to say. This is indeed the case. This is absolutely unquestionable and undeniable. The smile on the corner of Alan's mouth is unusually strong. For these things, they have already been confirmed, and because they are confirmed, they feel more and more interesting, this world. It is very interesting. Actually, as Alan said, things in the past are things that can't be changed, but things in the future are different. Things in the future are completely different things, that. There is absolutely no doubt about that. Obviously, some people didn't come from his future, because he is already dead, the future should not be the person who has this person. However, it doesn't matter, at least. Alan doesn't particularly care, no matter who it is, since you are here, then you should die. No matter what preparations you make, since you are here, death should be taken over. Search. Licking the corner of his mouth slightly, Alan said interestingly, two brats, get it. The future is very exciting. In other words, none of us know what the future will be like, and some people shouldn't appear. In the future, what does it represent? Zero, for flowers. This. Kaido's brain hole is quite big, he rubbed his chin and thought, if it is calculated like this. Does the eldest brother say that our future is our future, and some people have different futures, so? Good. Alan nodded and said. This is the look of different futures, now. The past. The future. The three will not be intertwined, but because of the fruit of time and the fruit of the past, now they are intertwined, but. It doesn't matter. This kind of interweaving, if there is no accident, is only one or two opportunities, and there will be no more times of interweaving. At this point, Alan is very sure, to put it more simply. If everyone is intertwined, then the three of themselves, the fruit of time, and the fruit of the past are separated from this intertwined time, because Alan is a traveler, and the other two devil fruits are also very special. Well, to put it bluntly, these are meaningless things, no matter what. The past, the future, these are meaningless things, the most important thing is everything in front of you. For other people, I don't know if it is, but that was the case for Alan. It doesn't matter, what can you do, I'll just hammer you to death. This is Alan's idea. However, 35. Newgate thought about it, and said interestingly, Big brother. 
It seems that the opponents this time are quite good. After killing these guys, is it almost the same? Wanokuni is really troublesome. There are so many things in this country. Alan shrugged casually. It's really troublesome, but it doesn't matter, don't you think? No matter what the outcome is, is it all meaningless? As long as Wanokuni still exists, I want to see it. What will the next result be? Search. Licking the corner of his mouth slightly, Alan's smile is very strong, and he finds it very interesting. 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 What will the next world be like? Isn't this the most interesting thing? And listening to his elder brother's words, Kaido also said interestingly, just right. Then let's try it out. I also want to see what the outcome of this world will be, and what will these guys be like. Quote. He he he. The three brothers looked at each other and sneered indifferently. Everyone did not intend to continue talking nonsense so much, let's take a look and see what will happen next. Wanokuni. This is indeed a very interesting place, in Wanokuni, no one knows what will happen, or even say. Wanokuni is a very psychedelic place, it should be called a dream is more appropriate, people there is a strange feeling. But ah, Alan is not interested in these at all, and he is more interested in the strength of these people next, after all. In the past 10 years, in fact, he has rarely shot. But ah, his strength has been improving all the time, and he wants to see more, how strong his opponent is, and whether he is qualified to be his opponent. Search. Licking the corner of his mouth excitedly, Alan is not polite. Alan, Newgate, Kaido. The three brothers all had smiles on the corners of their mouths, very strong, but they were already prepared. Challenges. Sorry. The three Edward brothers were never afraid of any challenges, and they were all full of endless self-confidence. This is the three Edward brothers. Snapped. Snapped. Step by step on the ground, the three brothers drifted away. This, just like a dream, the past, present, and future are intertwined, and with the interweaving of the three, there is no doubt about it. And as time goes by, it is also the most dreamy thing. Hee <laughs> hee. The corner of Alan's mouth has an unusually strong smile, and an interesting smile emerges. Next, it is about to start. Wanokuni. After so many years, it is clear that the final curtain is about to come to an end. It should be over like this, waste ten years, as for this war, will Wanokuni be destroyed? Sorry, this is not important at all, at the very least, for the three Edward brothers, it means nothing. Wanokuni's weapons factory, they have been making money for ten years. What will happen to Wanokuni next? In fact, they don't care at all. Because of this, since they don't care at all, then no matter what happens next, it doesn't matter. That's it. P.S. 5000 word chapter. Daily 6 updates. 6th update. Please subscribe. Please customize. Please collect. Chapter 211. Kazuki Odin, Momosuke, Shimotsuki Ryoma, Tiger G. Snapped. Snapped. Alan, Newgate, Kaido, the three brothers just walked calmly towards the weapons factory in Julie, but at this moment, something completely different from usual happened in the weapons factory. Tick tock, tick tock, drops of blood dripped, and the warriors who belonged to the Kurozumi Orochi fell to the ground, and as they fell to the ground, the warriors who were slaves at this moment pulled out the warriors on the ground. Knife, roar up to the sky. Roar, 99. Accompanied by the terrifying roar, they all burst out with deafening roars. For them, they have fully recovered. Now they are the elite Wanokuni warriors, not the walking dead. He he he. As the faint smile appeared, a ferocious voice emerged, cruelly saying, You rubbish, it seems that with the return of the king you serve. You seem to have recovered a lot. Really, it's not bad, you bunch of rubbish. And with this voice, the three figures have come over indifferently, it is the three Edward brothers. Kazuki Odin, Momosuke, Shimotsuki Ryoma, as well as. Walking out step by step, Alan looked at the crowd in front of him with interest, and a grim smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. It was really interesting. It seemed that all the famous people in Wanokuni history were gathered here. Who are you trying? Nine. Alan looked at the last person with a strange look, and he also felt very strange, who is this guy? He has long black hair, wears a kimono, and has a tattoo like a tiger on his body. He exudes the breath of a strong man. It's just, in my own impression, I really don't know who this guy is. It's just judging from the dress, Ju San Chi, can be seen, this person is a Wanokuni person. But the problem is, in my own impression, it seems that I don't know who this guy is at all. Hum. Squinting slightly, Alan was thinking, and in his heart, who was this guy? My name is Tuji, entrusted to end the wicked who rule Wanokuni. There was endless calm in his eyes, and after he spoke, Alan understood it. So it is, this guy, in a certain story, there is another Wanokuni, and in that story, he is the protagonist it was this man named Huji. Bird fruit, phantom species, crane form, it is also a legendary monster who lived a good life, and it is also the top devil fruit. It can be said that among the phantom species, it is not as good as the easy fruit, but it is also one of the top devil fruits. He he. Alan rubbed his chin interestingly and said, if that's the case. But it's very interesting. Are you guys from different histories? Or rather, you're not the same person at all. Squinting slightly, 
Alan is getting more and more interesting. Are they really people from one world? Or, are they really people from a timeline? Or are they from different worlds? Of course, no matter what kind it is, but for sure, it's definitely very interesting. Alan has a funny smile now, and it seems that things are getting more and more interesting. It's really very interesting. 66.99. Ha ha ha. After a short silence, Kazuki Odin said interestingly, Your name is Edward Allen, right? Although you do not exist in my world, but, it can be seen that you seem to know a lot of things. What? Well, 35. Alan lit a cigarette and said casually, After all, as long as people live, they always know some very wonderful things, doesn't it take for granted? I think I should be right. Cut. Listening to Alan's words, Kazuki Odin raised the corners of his mouth interestingly and said with a smile, Sure enough. As we all know, there are many differences in this world, the past is fixed, but the future is it's different. 9. So it is. 99. When Alan heard Kazuki Odin's words, he instantly understood what was going on, and said clearly, So it is. Because it is the person who was brought by the fruit of the past, but through the fruit of the past, it is different, and can only say, it's a bit interesting. Your situation really makes me feel a bit interesting. But, well, 99, who, Alan exhaled a thick smoke, and his whole person was filled with indifference and calmness. It doesn't matter, I'm not particularly interested in your origins, nor is I particularly interested in you, because there is nothing at all. For Lao Tzu, your existence is really meaningless. Come on, let Lao Tzu see your strength. If you want to save Wanokuni, you must show enough strength. Otherwise it's all bullshit. Alan is full of pride and calm, nonsense. Needless to say, those are just nonsense, everything is meaningless, above this sea, the most important thing is power, no matter where you come from how special is that. It doesn't matter anymore, because, it's a meaningless thing at all. This is a meaningless thing, it doesn't have any meaning at all. If so, what will the result be? In fact, it is already self-evident, the gap. This is really in front of you, whether you admit it or not. In this world, the strong are respected, and only the strong can have everything, but what else? Everything else, it's just a meaningless thing. Without strength, no matter what you say is meaningless thing. After all, there is a saying that is right, who can't speak the vernacular? Obviously, this is something everyone knows very well, only strength is the foundation of this world, and if there is no strength, everything is just something that doesn't make any sense at all. Wu, breathing out a puff of smoke at random, Alan continued, so. Are you going to start? Wow, wow. As Alan's smile emerged, all the samurai stood in front of him instantly, each of them looked very solemn, but they didn't mean to retreat at all, just kidding. They have already lost their faith, no matter what it is, at this moment, today, they absolutely cannot lose their faith again, otherwise. Do they still have meaning in life? Therefore, they are very clear, and in such a clear situation, they know that they must not retreat. No matter what the situation is, they cannot retreat a little bit, and as long as they retreat, all they lose is nothing. Can't get it back. 6699. In the calm, one after another silhouettes came out from all directions. It was the people of the Whitebeard Pirates led by Abel. Almost all the officials of the Whitebeard Pirates were here, whether they were the team leaders. Still the subordinate captain. Everyone is here, they are all full of proud looks, and there is a sharp light in their eyes, so to speak. They are full of hockey full of posture. Joke. They are already standing here, if Wanokuni is taken away by the enemy. They are really ashamed and thrown home. Stop making trouble, they will never allow it. Wanokuni is their territory, and in this situation next, will they back down here? Impossible. This is absolutely, 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 impossible, but they will not back down, and quietly looking at these warriors who seem to have found their hearts in front of them, Alan is thinking. Say really. I have an idea, you guys, why do you have to go to this muddy water? Isn't it good to wait quietly for death in your own time? Ha ha ha, Kazuki Odin said proudly. How is that possible? Wouldn't it be too embarrassing if people just waited for death like this? This is absolutely impossible. Now that we are here, this proves that all this is our mission, in this case. But we will never give up. Indeed. Alan looked at these people and nodded in agreement. It is undeniable. You guys are indeed right, but, because of this, I find it more and more interesting. He he he. 35. The corners of his mouth grinned, and a hideous smile appeared. Alan said cruelly, I like you guys the most with firm beliefs. Because killing you guys is a very good thing. Kill. 35. Kill. 35. And with the roar, the war has started in an instant. Abel, Marco and others have rushed directly into the battlefield, although it is said. In terms of number, the Whitebeard Pirates only have about 7,000 people, while the other side is a samurai army of 30,000. But ah, in terms of pure strength, it is simply meaningless. Among them, there are almost no people with strong penultimate. On the Whitebeard Pirates' side, they don't say the team leader of the headquarters, they are just those who have been trained. The kid and the people affiliated with the pirate group add up to a terrifying number of 27 people, and there is a terrifying monster-like tiger that has gradually grown up. Gollum. Gollum. 
Accompanied by the boiling magma, Abel directly transformed into a magma flamingo and fell from the sky, directly smashing into the crowd, followed by killing the quartet directly, not putting these people in his eyes at all, just just a mere slave. Do you think that you are already a samurai when you pick up a katana sword? Stop making trouble. This is not realistic at all. You think it's just what you think it is. Don't really think that your strength is a matter of course, on the contrary. You are very weak, even the weak are very pitiful, because of this. This is the root of everything. Search. He licked the corner of his mouth excitedly, and Abel's fighting intent can be said to be so terrifying that he is completely burning. Bump. Bump. The boiling magma is churning, as if it is going to swallow everything up. This is really too fast, in a short period of time. What happened in this way is the most terrifying and dare not dare. Incredible. What the hell happened? On the other side, search. A blue figure galloping past was exactly Marco's figure, he floated in the air, then said with a smile. Next. Then I'm welcome. You are opponents. In that case, but you don't need to be polite zero. Phoenix seal. With Marco's offensive, the ground exploded instantly, not only that, at the moment when Marco shot, there were other people who shot at the same time. It can be said, purely in terms of war, they are not opponents of one level at all. If they continue, then the so-called 30,000 warriors will definitely be defeated. They are not opponents at all. This is the case at all levels, and it is really not an opponent at all. Crackling. Crackling. The roar exploded, followed by a deafening roar. He he he. Quinn smiled excitedly. Let's show you the abilities I recently researched. Roar. With this deafening roar, Quinn's body turned into an Orochi, but. The next moment, a shocking scene appeared, Quinn actually split into eight parts at the same time, and the eight snake heads were became eight bodies respectively. This scene, it's full of disbelief. You know, even if Quinn is a transformed person, it shouldn't be at such a level. This is something I can't imagine at all. Can, no matter what, Quinn did it, and did it perfectly, this is a very shocking thing. In fact, I can't imagine it at all. But, if you think about it for a while, it is understandable. Each head of the Orochi fruit has its own simple beast thinking, and with Quinn's transformation, this is indeed the case. After all, in the original work, he transformed himself into a situation like the Brachiosaurus and Snake. This transformation shows that Quinn is really talented in transformation. Oh, 35. Seeing this scene, Alan was also stunned, and said interestingly, this kid Quinn is really interesting. Can you transform your body into this? But, Newgate thought about it and said, the third child, Quinn's transformation will cause problems in the next strength growth, right? 5.9 hum. Kaido also nodded and said, as a reformer, the growth of strength itself will cause problems, but this is also a matter of indifference, after all. Quinn's qualifications are not enough, he only needs to follow the continuous transformation of himself, there is no doubt that the strength has been improved.35. Um, Newgate nodded, while Alan looked at Quinn, I have to say. Quinn's transformation is very amazing, in every way, it is very shocking. And this is the most interesting thing. Alan also thinks it's very interesting, even saying, if it continues, what will the result be? To what extent will Quinn develop his abilities? He he he, Alan said with an interesting smile, it's actually interesting. Well, we'll just continue to look at it, I think about Quinn's ability to develop his own fruit ability to what extent? Or, can he, to what extent do you develop your own body? Lao Tzu also finds it very interesting. 35. A smile appeared, but Alan really found it very interesting, he never thought. Quinn would develop to such an extent, Quinn's ability in transforming people is obviously very good. Well, Alan continued to watch Quinn, and at this moment the battlefield was gradually exploding. However, Quinn's performance is not over yet. No, no, for Quinn, this is just the beginning. The next scene really shocked many people. Can Quinn actually use the power of transforming people to such an extent? P.S. 5000 Word Chapter. Daily 6 Updates. First Update. Please Subscribe. Please Customize. Please Collect. Chapter 212. Whitebeard vs. Kazuki Odin. Roar. Following this deafening roar, the Orchid Orochi split from Quinn made a deafening roar again, and the overall situation turned out to be different. Boom. Boom. One of the snake's eyes burst out with terrifying beam bullets, madly penetrating into the distance, not only that. After that, when he opened his mouth, beam bullets exploded frantically. In a short period of time, clean up all around. Flame. At the same time, another snake started to move at the same time, and at an astonishing speed, it instantly entangled the thundering lights, turning into an afterimage and streaking across the silhouettes in an instant. These silhouettes were all, crackling, the thunder and lightning are directly paralyzed. Lightning. The next moment, another terrifying blue light entwined a snake, and it rushed directly into the crowd. There seemed to be blue winds on the body. These winds were like blades, swept wildly, looking at everything around, as if to devour everyone. A short period of time. This is really too fast, to the extent that people have no time to notice it, that's it. When everything came to an end, the pirates around were already dealt with. 
Wind. Ha ha ha. Quinn raised his head and laughed frantically. See. This is the power of technology. This is the power of the technology I developed, except me. Even Vegapunk can't do this, it's too much. Exciting. Flame. Thunderbolt. Gale. The three natural elements have already been exerted, and in the original work, Quinn can also exert the same ability through the bloodline factor learned from Judge, but at this moment. With the ability of the Orochi, it shows it's even more terrifying, and it makes people feel shocked. After all, in the absence of awakening, the Orochi Orochi has almost no abilities except eight lives, but at this moment. In Quinn's hands, Orochi Orochi has exerted a shocking ability, is really too powerful. The ability of the three elements has been exerted. What if Quinn continues to develop? Actually, this is self-evident. If Quinn continues to develop, maybe. In the future, people can be developed the ability to shock, and this is the most terrifying thing. Ha ha ha. Along with this loud laughter, Quinn can be said to be full of arrogance, and each split snake can not only exert such power, but also fully display Quinn's two-color hockey. Under such circumstances, the power that can be exerted is extremely amazing, even to say. It has reached an unparalleled shocking level. Quinn looked around with a pair of sharp vertical pupils, as if waiting for something, anyway. This is not the end. In other words, this is just the beginning. In this case, then Quinn's future results will be how is it? Who knows? Anyway, Quinn can definitely use his abilities to the fullest, so that the power of the Orochi may reach an amazing level. This is also uncertain. After all, at this moment, Quinn has put his own the ability is fully exerted. The battlefield has fallen into a one-sided level. With the strength of 30,000 samurai, it is no match for the Whitebeard Pirates. After all, 10 years ago, you were defeated, and you guys spent your time in prison. It has been 10 years, and the Whitebeard Pirates have gone through 10 years of improvement. I didn't lose to you 10 years ago, but if I lost to you 10 years later, it would be really embarrassing. If that's the case, it would be really too ugly. Therefore, battlefield, it is impossible to continue like this. The strong must take the shot. Only the strong can reverse or change the battle situation. Kazuki Odin looked around, and finally set his eyes on Newgate. Brush. Holding Yan Mo and Tian Yu Zan, and Kazuki Odin shot suddenly. Odin two swords, guns, ghosts. Brush. The extremely fast rays of light swept in, and the target was Newgate, following Kazuki Odin sweeping, and Newgate was not afraid at all, the corners of his mouth were raised, and he held Kong Yunchi directly to meet Kazuki Odin's. Attack. Still the same sentence, ten years ago I could kill you, even if I said it. Ten years later, you will be another you, you have become stronger, but do you think you can be my opponent? Stop making trouble, this is absolutely impossible, it is simply meaningless. A sharp light flashed across his eyes, and with Kazuki Odin's movements, under this amazing offensive, unexpected power erupted in a short period of time. Kong cloud cut, air shock cut, boom, in an instant. Everything around the two exploded directly, and with the terrifying roar, everything seemed to fall into silence, followed by Kazuki Odin, who stepped back, and Nugate too. No pursuit. Goo la la la, Nugate laughed proudly, the strength is really good. But, if you only have such strength, then it is not worth mentioning. Although, your strength can be said to be great compared to 10 years ago. The boost, just, not worth mentioning at all. Wu, he let out a deep breath, and Kazuki Odin said with the corners of his mouth grinning, little beiji. You still possess such terrifying power. It really makes people have to admit, you are a fellow, really is strong enough. Oh, 99, Newgate said interestingly, does this guy know me? Kazuki Odin laughed, count the time, we haven't seen each other for a few years. I joined the Whitebeard Pirates as the captain of the second division. It's just. Kazuki Odin looked around, and looked around at people who were not familiar at all, people with Whitebeard Pirates, people with Beasts Pirates, even talking. There are many people who do not belong to these two pirates, and just looking at it makes a huge difference. Finally, Kazuki Odin still shook his head and said, I don't know how to say it, but. We are not familiar people. Between you and me, it should be said that they are just the same people. Ooh, Newgate laughed proudly. Maybe. However, I am not interested in you at all, what happened to you, I am not interested at all, and I am not interested in those things, because. It's over, those things are meaningless at all, I have no interest at all, after all. No matter what the result is, isn't it already in front of you? A cruel smile appeared, and Newgate was holding Kong Yunchi, and Haki said fully, for Lao Tzu, he killed you ten years ago. And ten years later, it is still possible to kill this guy. Guy beheading, it is so simple, there will be no problems. Snapped, snapped, step by step, Newgate's figure was directly pressed down like a huge mountain. After ten years, Newgate's strength is still standing still. Stop making trouble. Under the condition of possessing the dog spell, Newgate's body will not have any dark wounds, and under such conditions, whether it is kendo, taijutsu, hockey, fruit, all aspects are extremely terrifying development, Newgate's strength can be said to have reached the level of an extremely terrifying monster. Kongyun cut air shock cut. Newgate's eyes widened, instantly. 
Countless power burst out, and the monstrous power burst out directly. Not only the fruit ability, but also the coverage of the armed color, it also includes the entanglement of conquerors. Brush. This knife fell, and it was like a split in an instant. This invincible force seemed to destroy everything. Boom. Kazuki Odin staggered his knives, directly blocking Newgate's blow, but... The next moment, it was like the sky was falling apart, and this is the most terrifying. Kazuki Odin even felt that his legs were out of control as bent. So strong. 35. Kazuki Odin said secretly in his heart, is Xiao Beiji's strength so terrifying? Especially at this time, is it so terrifying? Sure enough. The time is different, everything that happens is different, Xiao Beiji's strength is so terrifying. But it's really powerful. 99. Odin Two Swords, Great Enma. Kazuki Odin blocked Newgate's blow, and the next moment, a terrifying light erupted in his eyes, and the whole person was like an afterimage. One fell directly, and in an instant, the slash that broke the ground that day under the strike, a roaring figure appeared. That is the phantom of Yan Mo, and the terrifying Yan Mo is holding an incomparably huge Yan Mo sword and smashes it directly at Newgate. The power of this blow is really too terrifying, already it's so unbelievable. Boom. In an instant, it was like the sky was falling apart, and the corner of Newgate's mouth evoked a smile and said without fear, is that the only way? It is not qualified to be an opponent of Lao Tzu. Die. 35. Empty shock. 99. Newgate clenched his fist with one hand and smashed it down. In an instant, with the terrifying sound of crackling, the muscles of his left arm were swelled inch by inch, and the power that burst out was the most impressive. Feeling terrifying. Such a terrifying power, in a short period of time, seems to be swallowing everything up, it is too terrifying. In this short period of time. Wave. This hit. It was as if everything was going to be destroyed in an instant. Everything happened too fast. Too fast. It was too late for people to notice, as if everything had come to an end, in an instant. Everything was in this instant, the sky is falling apart, the power of all this is really too strong. Boom. Boom. Kazuki Odin's attack was instantly shattered, and the power of this punch, as if without any weakness, went straight to Kazuki Odin again. Really terrifying power. 99. Little Beiji. As expected of you. With a sighing voice, Kazuki Odin's smile gradually subsided, and there was only a terrifying killing intent in his eyes, and his breath became more and more terrifying. His strength was not weak, even extremely. Strong strength. Armament hockey. Conqueror's hockey. Two kinds of hockey are wrapped around the two swords in the hand, and the breath of Kazuki Odin is one. The improvement has been improved again and again, and it has been extremely terrifying. Cut. With a terrifying roar, and in an instant. The power that erupted was as if the sky was going to be shattered, everything that happened was too fast. It was almost too late for people to notice it. And under such power, what will be the next result? In fact, it is self-evident. Odin Two Swords, Taoyuan Ten Fist. With this terrifying roar, Kazuki Odin turned into an afterimage, with the sword in front and the cross in the back. Under the extremely fast speed, it brought an astonishing offensive, that invincible offensive. Below, it is too late to make the gap, and everything has come to an end. Quick. Quick. It was too fast, the slash of the cross star was like a meteor, and the terrifying speed that erupted at this moment made Newgate's eyes shrink, although he said that he did see the opponent's attack. But the speed is too fast. As a strong man who is not good at speed, Newgate could not even hide for a while. Unlock the power of this blow. R. Even if you can't dodge it, why not? A terrifying power emerges from 940 in Newgate's eyes, and he said savagely, since you can't dodge. Then I simply don't dodge, let me take a look. How is your strength? 39. Kong Yin cut air shock cut. 35. Drop this knife again, fruit. Hockey. With this sudden attack, in an instant. It seems like the sky is torn apart, this is really too fast. It's so fast that people can't even notice it to the extent. Brush. And as this blow fell, everything seemed to fall into silence. Crackling. Boom. With the two as the center, dark purple air currents burst out towards the surroundings. In an instant, it seemed like the sky was going to collapse. Everything happened so fast that it was almost too late for people to react. Tick tock. As everything dissipated, the two of them had terrifying scars on their bodies. There was an X shaped wound on Newgate's chest. Just looking at it was shocking, and on Kazuki Odin's chest there was also an X shaped wound. A very deep slash. It can be said, under the collision of this blow, the two of them can be called half a caddy, and no one dares to say that they have won, but. In this instant, the injury on Newgate recovered at a speed visible to the naked eye. This is the terrifying power of the dog charm. Under the tacit consent of the divine power of the dog charm, such power is enough to threaten Newgate's life, and in this case, Newgate's injury is restored. How can that be? Kazuki Odin showed an expression of disbelief. In his own understanding, he had no idea that Newgate actually possessed such an ability. Goo la la la. Newgate laughed proudly. Although it is very shameful. But, that's all. This is my strength, but it will never change. Because of this. Next, I can you are welcome. Because, this is a war. 
In such a war, as long as the opponent is defeated and beheaded. Enough. Quote. Newgate's killing intent is full of endless arrogance, although he says sorry. But he doesn't mean anything at all. It is even said that the attack is extremely ruthless, which is Newgate's character. As a pirate, there is no need to say so many meaningless things. It is useless at all. As a pirate, defeat the opponent directly. Kill the opponent directly. This is the most important thing. Just like what Newgate said, they are not fighting one-on-one. -on -one. They are waging a war. And under such a war, isn't it a matter of course to defeat the opponent? As long as the opponent is beheaded, even if it is an inferior method, there is no doubt that this is a battle, not a duel. P.S. 5000 Word Chapter. Daily 6 Updates. Second Update. Please Subscribe. Please Customize. Please Collect. Chapter 213. The Circling Double Dragon. Boom. Boom. With the explosion of the roar, the battle between Newgate and Kazuki Odin will not end like this. The battle between the two has just begun. Under the terrifying roar, the next result is the most important. Same. There was a fight on the other side. Kaido. Um. Kaido looked at the man, raised his eyebrows, and said interestingly, who is this guy? Lao Tzu always thinks that you are very similar to Lao Tzu. Standing in front of Kaido is probably a man who looks in his thirties, but. The embarrassing point is that this man looks very similar to Kaido, and even can not be said to be very similar, only can said to be the same. Urn. The long knife around his waist was unsheathed, it was Tianyu Yuzan, and his eyes were sharp. Momosuk. You wicked man who enslaved Wanokuni, you will be defeated by Luffy in the future, and you will be defeated by me personally. What? What the hell? Kaido was quite unhappy, and the whole person was full of boredom, little brat. Go away for me, I don't have time to play house with you, this rubbish, you won't think that with the strength of a three-legged cat, you can fight with Lao Tzu, right? Kid, don't be too arrogant, you are just a kid. You are not in the eyes of Lao Tzu at all. Roar. Um, roar. Momosuke didn't intend to talk nonsense, opening his mouth was a burst of monstrous heat, and facing this Momosuke's attack, Kaido was not afraid at all, and also opened his mouth and greeted him with monstrous heat. Boom. Bear. The scorching air waves of the two of them seemed to burn everything up. In a short period of time, this monstrous heat wave spread wildly around. In a short period of time, this was really too much. It's coming, it's getting to the point where it's too late for people to react. The massive heat wave has already devoured the surroundings. Humph. An interesting smile appeared, and Kaido said interestingly, little brat. Your strength, looks a bit interesting, seems to be very similar to Lao Tzu's ability, and. You guy. Seriously. Momosuke's appearance, breath, and abilities seem to be too similar to himself, as if it was carved out of a template. And this is the most interesting thing. Because of this, Kaido also thinks very interesting. Does Momosuke have anything to do with him? Even say. With his keen sense of being an Udemons, Kaido has noticed that Momonosuke's bloodline seems to be very similar to his own, and this is very interesting, if the bloodlines are very similar. So what is the next result? Humph. Kaido was getting more and more interesting, he turned his head and asked, Big brother. Do you know what's going on with this kid named Momosuke? This kid seems to be thinking about dying too much with me, it seems. Ability. Various they are all very similar. This thing. Alan thought for a while and said, this is the smile fruit made by Vegapunk according to your bloodline factor, that is, the artificial devil fruit, and this is the only devil fruit made by Vegapunk, it can be said that it contains all of your strength, because of this, includes appearance, so. Momosuke ate this devil fruit and it looks almost exactly like you.35. Speak up. The two of you are basically the same in ability. Judging from the appearance of Momosuke, he should be in his thirties, if nothing else. The ability of this kid is also quite well developed. Alan keenly found the problem. It's very interesting. These guys actually showed devil fruit in all aspects. Or, these guys were able to summon people from different time points to this era, which is very interesting thing. However, this is more interesting for Lao Tzu. He he he. Alan has a funny smile, but he thinks it's very interesting. It's not a joke, but it's actually really funny. Whether it's from the past or the future, or even speaking. Even if it's to resurrect Captain Rocks again, or said to be summoning that mysterious fellow I am. It doesn't matter. At least, for Alan, he really doesn't care at all, he doesn't care about it at all. Completely, it's just something that doesn't make any sense at all. I don't care about all this at all. You want to make trouble. Then Lao Tzu is here waiting for you. But, before you come to the door, you'd better think about whether your strength is enough. If you don't have enough strength, if you dare to come to the door, then don't blame me for being rude. This is Alan's character, no matter what opponent it is it is no exaggeration to not care, even to say. It should be called more appropriate. The reason is very simple. Alan has only one goal, and that is to be the strongest, if that's the case. Then why do you think so much about it? You don't need to think about it. No matter who your opponent is, as long as you defeat the opponent, that's your goal. This is your own strength, to defeat all opponents, this is completely enough. Everything else is meaningless. Who, 
Tilda operator. Breathing out a puff of smoke, Alan took his eyes away from Momosuke, although he said it. It is undeniable that Momosuke has grown up, but ah, he is still a waste, there is no doubt about it. Momosuke is a waste of one person. If the third child can't beat the trash and trash like this, this is the strangest thing. Don't make trouble, this is impossible. Because, this is the third child ah, my brother, how could he be unable to defeat even such rubbish, this is absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely, impossible things, there is no doubt, there is no need to doubt at all. Worororo. Interesting. Interesting. Kaido looked at Momosuke with interest, the corners of his mouth grinned, and he said, You guy, it seems that you have good strength. Just, let me see what your strength is, if it is too weak, then Lousy will also feel very boring. Humph. The corners of his mouth grinned, Kaido was like an evil spirit, carrying his own mace, and the whole person turned into an afterimage. Thunder 8 Trigrams. Tnuu slash. Brush. The two figures passed by in an instant, Kaido and Momosuke both collided at extremely fast speed, one person was waving the mace in his hand quickly, while the other person was swinging the knife at an amazing speed, extremely strong. Under the offensive, the attacks of the two were extremely terrifying. Crackling. The ground all around exploded in an instant, and Kaido said interestingly, Conqueror's hockey, you rubbish kid actually has conqueror's hockey. It really makes Lao Tzu find it interesting. Squinting sharply, it is undeniable that Kaido did not expect that Momosuke actually has conqueror's hockey. You know, conqueror's hockey needs to have the power to be above a million people. If you don't have the courage, it's just a meaningless thing. A. At first glance, I can see that Momosuke has amazing strength. However, his essence is a waste. That's right, Momosuke's essence is just a garbage. This is absolutely beyond doubt, even to say. It's the root cause that doesn't need to be doubted. Therefore, this is a very important thing, and Kaido didn't expect that Momosuke would have conqueror's hockey, although not to the extent of conqueror's entanglement. I'm the general of Wanokuni, don't look down on me. Kaido. Roar. 9. Bad wind. 35. In an instant, when Momosuke opened his mouth, a terrifying bad wind burst out in an instant, and a terrifying gust of wind came straight to Kaido, and in the face of this Momosuke's attack, Kaido was very calm. Dragon's breath. 99. Boom. A terrifying shock wave ran through in an instant, don't doubt it. This is Kaido's strength, there is absolutely no doubt about it. Roar. 35. And the two of them looked at each other, and they suddenly rose into the sky at the same time, the next moment. Thunderbolt spicy. Boom. Lightning flashed and thundered, flames entwined, and in this short period of time, the entire world seemed to have changed, and two identical giant beasts succumbed to the sunrise, and terrifying power emerged, these two terrifying monsters flashing with terrifying power emerge. Hash. Peach dragon. The two dragons appeared at the same time, making a deafening roar, that amazing roar, as if it was going to swallow everything up. And the speed at which all this erupted was too fast. Humph. 35. Kaido roared up to the sky, and said hideously, Momosuke, your ability is exactly the same as Lao Tzu. However, it doesn't matter, Lao Tzu wants to see what your strength is. Since you have similar abilities to Lao Tzu, if you are too strong shameful words. But it is also very shameful to make Lao Tzu. 35. Roar. Bad wind. Kaido opened his mouth and spit out a large amount of bad wind. The monstrous bad wind had already completely covered Momonosuke as if it was going to devour everything. Tornado. In the face of Kaido's attack, Momosuke was not afraid at all, instead, he quickly rotated his dragon body, opened his mouth at the same time, and spit out a terrifying bad wind, which turned into a tornado, not only swallowed Kaido. The power of, even went straight to Kaido. This is my power. Momosuke let out a deafening roar and roared. The name of the next is Momosuke. It is the general of Wanokuni, and the next will never be defeated here. No matter at any time, the next will execute himself as the general of Wanokuni. Duty. Hot breath. Bad wind. Roar. 9. The two forces were spit out crazily at the same time, Momosuke's breath actually increased again and again, as if it had reached an amazing ultimate. Momosuke is no longer the crybaby at the moment. Eight-year-old Momosuke has endured all this. He has risen to the age of 28 through the power of devil fruit, and now he has reached the age of 38 after 10 years, and now he is already a qualified general. As the general of Wanokuni, Momosuke, as the patron saint of Wanokuni, has a power comparable to that of the owner. This is the man who brought legends above the sea. Only, these are just legends. In the eyes of Alan, Kaido and others, Momosuke, is still a boring waste. It can't be called insignificant, but it is still too weak to be placed in the just in the eyes, just such a guy, do you need to put too much attention on it? Stop it. It's just like a joke. Although some people's strength seems to be good. However, that's just appearance. The real strength is not worth mentioning at all. Even if his strength becomes stronger, but his heart of being a weakling will not change at all, don't doubt it. This is something that cannot be changed at all. Weak. Cowardly. This is the root of Momosuke, this is something that cannot be changed at all, just like the battle at this moment, Momosuke seems to show a very powerful force. Roar. With the deafening roar, 
Kaido had already smashed all Momosuke's attacks inch by inch, and the whole person roared hideously, is there only such power? In Lao Tzu's opinion, it is simply not worth mentioning. Momosuke, it seems, you are just a waste, you don't need to take it too seriously. 95. If it's just like this, I really think it's too boring. You rubbish, but it really makes people feel boring. Kaido looked at Momosuke board, and really found it very boring. Momosuke is too weak, too weak, too weak, already weak enough to be ignored at all. That kind of guy, no joking, no good, to say, no matter what time it is, Kaido will never be in his eyes. Roar. 55. Don't look down on me. 35. Tornado. Momosuke had summoned a terrifying tornado that came straight to Kaido. Only, this time, Kaido was waving the dragon claw and shredded everything directly, at this moment. Kaido really felt that this battle was very boring, and the whole person's spirit was boring. Although, from the outside, it is indeed a pair of dragons hovering in the sky, but, as long as you take a little look, you will find that this is not the case at all, even to say. Kaido feels that they are boring to each other, it is too weak. This guy is weak and disgusting. Hey, hey, Kaido looked at Momosuke and said indifferently, according to the elder brother, you ate the smile fruit copied from Lao Tzu's bloodline, in other words, you possess the same power as Lao Tzu, this should be beyond doubt. 66.99. Momosuke didn't know what Kaido meant, he would just continue hovering quietly in midair, without any intention of opening. Instead, he was thinking about something. And Kaido didn't care whether Momosuke opened his mouth or not, he continued, but. You are really too weak. Your strength is exactly the same as before Lao Tzu, and every move of yours is exactly the same as Lao Tzu, you are just imitating Lao Tzu. A guy like you has no meaning at all. Because you are a weak person. You are really a weak person who is not regarded by others at all. Kaido really doesn't like Momosuke, it's too weak. Too weak. It's too weak. This weak, really is not a joke, but a real weak. P.S. 5000 word chapter. Daily 6 updates. Third update. Please subscribe. Please customize. Please collect. Chapter 214. 1 against 2. The devil. No. The devil. Momosuke. He he he. Alan raised the corner of his mouth sarcastically, and shook his head lightly. For Momosuke, he really didn't take him seriously, there is no more reason. Momosuke is too weak. His weakness is not weakness of strength, it is undeniable. The current Momosuke is not weak, but, this weakness comes from the bones, from the weakness of the soul, and this weakness is the most terrifying. All his strength, all his strength, and all his roars are actually just to cover up the weakness in his heart. For such a person, Alan really doesn't take it seriously. Or, not just myself, no one will take this guy in their eyes. Kaido also discovered Momosuke's problem during the battle, and because of that, this is the most interesting thing. This guy, a weak guy who seems to be trash, really doesn't need to be suspicious at all. Quote dot 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 quote. Alan withdrew his gaze and set his gaze on the remaining two people, one named Huji, while the other had an almost identical figure to that green algae head, or rather, a figure identical to Shimotsuki Ushimaru, with a black knife and autumn water hanging from his waist, he looked at Alan quietly at this moment. Shimotsuki Ryoma, this is the most powerful man in the history of Wanokuni, and the man with the most terrifying strength, he should be able to say. The legend of Wanokuni is not an exaggeration at all. In the history of Wanokuni, he killed the flying dragon, so he was called Wanokuni. Call it the dragon slaying samurai, and this is the terrifying power of Shimotsuki Ryoma, there is absolutely no doubt about it. Or, you don't need to doubt the strength of Shimotsuki Ryoma at all, this is something that you don't need to doubt at all, this man is so powerful, he was the one with the ability of the previous blue dragon fruit, he died in the hands of Shimotsuki Ryoma, do you still need to you doubt the strength of Shimotsuki Ryoma? Do not, there is no need at all, Shimotsuki Ryoma's strength is really strong, this is something that does not need to be doubted at all. Wu, breathing out a puff of smoke, Alan said casually, Shimotsuki Ryoma, Huji, now there are only you two guys left. Don't waste time with Lao Tzu, let Lao Tzu see what your strength will be. A terrifying aura burst out from Alan's body, at this moment. Alan is like a ferocious and terrifying monster, just the air pressure emanating from the emanating aura has already made the surrounding ground inch by inch. Broken. And just like that, this terrifying power makes people feel the endless fear of 943. It's been 10 years. In 10 years, Alan has become very terrifying, even to say. Alan's strength has reached a level that cannot be described in words, it can be said. Now Alan calls it a monster is really an appropriate thing horror. Terrible. Monster. Such descriptions and titles are definitely the most suitable for Alan, because the strength of this man is really unparalleled. 10 years. 10 years. For anyone, if there is no change in these 10 years, then it would be better to say that he is dead. And Alan naturally cannot be without any change. Crackling. With a little bit of movement, Alan made a terrifying sound like a popping bean all over his body. Wait for Lao Tzu to take the initiative. 66. To the power of 9 to the power of 9. Shimotsuki Ryoma looked at Alan and said sharply. 
You are really terrifying, you can feel it from below, you have an unparalleled aura on your body, it seems to be a terrifying beast. No, even in this world the most terrifying beast is nothing compared to you. It is truly a terrifying power. A man like you is truly unimaginable how he was defeated. As a dragon-slaying warrior, Shimotsuki Ryoma possessed an instinct like a beast, but because of this beast-like instinct, at this moment, Shimotsuki Ryoma could feel how terrifying Alan was. That's a real terrifying power like a monster. It's too scary, it's really like a ghost. No, it should be said that it's a power like a beast, you can feel it just by feeling it so, how terrible is that power? There is no way to describe it in words, because that is the power like a god, it should be called an invincible power. But, urn, Shimotsuki Ryoma's black sword Chushui slowly unsheathed, but it returned to its scabbard in an instant, he said earnestly, facing a man like you, next. Never dare to be careless, your excellency. No matter what the outcome is, you and the next are enemies, and you have learned from the next. Ha ha ha. Alan opened his hands and laughed like crazy. Interesting. Interesting. Come on. Let me see your strength. Come on. Let me see how strong you are. Quote quote. A terrifying aura has burst out, and the aura emanating from Alan AGFJ has become more and more terrifying. It is a real ghost-like aura. It really makes people feel endlessly terrified. It's too scary. Can. No matter what it is, one thing that must be admitted is that at this moment, the breath that Alan exudes has proved that this man is very terrifying, and such a terrifying breath makes Shimotsuki Ryoma stand here, but it is fundamental don't dare to shoot. Very strong. Very strong. It's too terrifying. The breath that this man exudes makes people feel endlessly terrified. Who? He let out a deep breath, and at this moment, he didn't dare to be careless at all, at least. Facing Alan, he never let his guard down, even if it was just a little bit of slack, maybe, the price paid was all will it be completely life is the price. I I slash. Suddenly, Shimotsuki Ryoma shot, extremely fast. However, what Shimotsuki Ryoma used was not the Shimotsuki style, but the II Kendo, and the extremely fast speed shot instantly, in an instant. It was like the scythe of Shinigami who had taken his life. Brush. This knife suddenly slashed, and Shimotsuki Ryoma and Alan passed by by mistake, but his face was not good looking, and he said secretly, this blow. It didn't hit at all. Hey, hey, quote, but don't be distracted, otherwise, I will find it very boring. 35. Humph. Alan's figure has appeared on the side of Shimotsuki Ryoma in an instant, and a punch came out directly, covered by armament hockey, covered by conqueror's hockey, and at the same time. It is also wrapped around the three magic energy of fire, moon and wind, the power of this punch, let Shimotsuki Ryoma seem to feel the breath of death. Too horrible. This man. I I blue dragon Jin. 35. Facing Alan's attack, Shimotsuki Ryoma didn't dare to be careless at all, almost instantly. The most terrifying blow was the most terrifying blow, and the terrifying slash had turned into a roaring blue dragon, heading straight for Alan. And in this instant, Shimotsuki Ryoma quickly retreated, and Alan's punch directly destroyed the roaring blue dragon without any pause, as if the blue dragon that Shimotsuki Ryoma had struck terribly did not at all. Not worth mentioning the same. At this time, Shimotsuki Ryoma's eyes narrowed, and he did not expect that Alan's strength would have reached such a terrifying level. It was at this moment. A figure came galloping, the appearance of an ape, the body of a raccoon, the limbs of a tiger, and the tail of a snake. It could fly without wings. This is also a very strange creature. Only, he showed great strength and directly blocked Alan's attack. Although it was said that he was under enormous pressure, Tuji was still ferocious, Shimotsuki Ryoma, you are the legendary one. The dragon slayer warrior. So, this man simply defeated you. He he he. Hearing Tiger G's voice, Shimotsuki Ryoma also smiled and said, it's so easy there. I won't lose so easily, at least. I won't just lose like this, if I lose like this, but it's too embarrassing. 35. There is a sharp light in his eyes, Shimotsuki Ryoma's fighting spirit is also full of hockey. It is full of arrogance, and once again the one-handed black knife returns to its sheath, followed by a sharp cold light. Pass. I I slash. It's the same move again, but, the power contained in this move is even more terrifying, and it has reached the level of endless fear. In a short moment, the power of this blow, as if to swallow everything up. Brush. The roaring slash fell instantly, as if it was going to devour everything, but in this moment, normally, if you choose to take a step back, it seems that everything is very simple. But ah, ha ha ha, this is Alan, the man who was called a devil by this sea. Wouldn't it be the strangest thing if this man simply retreated? Impossible. This man will not retreat like this. The reason is very simple. How could this man named Edward Alan retreat here? A terrifying smile emerged, and Alan's smile was unusually strong. Roar. The three shock waves pierced through in an instant, and the joint attack of the two seemed to be insignificant, and they were directly rushed out in an instant. Boom. Boom. The roar exploded. All of this happened too fast. It was so fast that people couldn't react at all, and under such a fast situation, what happened to the next battle? This is the most important thing. He he he. 
Ha ha ha. Alan looked at the two who stepped back and stabilized his body, and laughed funny ly. Not bad. Not bad. Shimotsuki Ryoma and Huji, the strength of the two of you is not bad. You are qualified to be Lao Tzu's opponents, since in that case, I don't need to be merciful. Humph. A cruel smile emerged, and Alan's killing intent seemed very terrifying. Ten years. During these ten years, although Alan said, only activated the fourth template, it seems. It is still an ordinary ghost mask template, but, if you really think so, it is a big mistake so wrong. Alan's strength has not only become terrifying, it's even more terrifying. You have to understand, Alan's strength is very strong, not only that. Alan's strength is not just because of the simple reason, it is because the strength of this man is the most terrifying thing. This point, you are there is absolutely no doubt about it. Alan's strength, after 10 years, has been improved in essence. After all, Super Saiyan is also improved on the basis of the original strength, and Alan understands this precisely. He is very clear that everything has a fundamental, as long as his fundamental is strong enough, then he is strong enough. This is absolutely no doubt. In 10 years, Alan's overall strength has been extremely terrifyingly improved, and it has even been raised to a level that makes people feel endlessly terrified. Snapped, snapped, one after another, the air waves are churning, and Alan's breath is increasing in terror. This is the strength of Edward Allen. It seems to be an endless upper limit, still improving, still in get a terrifying boost. Roar. Along with the wild roar, dark purple, dark red, dark cyan, the three-color aura seems to have turned into a substantial air wave, entangling Alan, and looming, as if you can see a like the ghost's phantom. That's the power of Alan, and it just exploded in this moment. So, speaking of which, a question is, how far has Alan reached in ten years? It's very simple, now Alan is not weaker than Captain Rocks, and the two of them are at most half a pound in strength. That's right. In 10 years, Alan has truly reached the terrifying strength of Captain Rocks. It is so terrifying that it may make people unbelievable. But whether you believe it or not, it must be admitted that Alan has indeed achieved to this extent. This is Alan's strength, it can be said that it is no exaggeration. He he he. The corners of his mouth opened with a funny and hideous smile. Alan's posture at this moment should not be called a demon, but a demon, a terrifying demon. And such a terrifying monster, how can it be used what kind of power? Maybe. Anyone who thinks about it for a moment knows it. It will be invincible, terrifying. A power that cannot be described in words. Search. Licking the corner of his mouth slightly, Alan said cruelly, next. Let Lao Tzu kill you too. Dragon blast. Nine. Electric eye burst. The three shock waves exploded again in an instant, but. This time, the power is completely different from before. No, no. It should be said that there is no comparison at all. It seems that it is not a level of power, and it is really nothing. Comparability. Moment. The three shock waves forced the two of them to retreat at the same time. Even if they wanted to face each other, they couldn't do it. They could only retreat step by step quickly. Shimotsuki Ryoma and Huji felt a tremendous pressure. The unparalleled pressure made the two look extremely ugly. Too strong. Too strong. This is not a joke, but the truth is too terrifying. This man's strength has reached the level of invincibility. That's right. It is the real likeness of invincible power. You can feel it just by looking at it. Then the real likeness is a god. No. It should be called a power like a devil. This man is no longer suitable to be called a devil, but should be called the devil. But, Shimotsuki Ryoma and Huji looked at each other. Although the two said they felt hopeless, they did not let down their guard, nor did they give up. I I Kowloon flash, roar of new, nine. The two shot at the same time, the power of slashing and roaring burst out at the same time, they also launched an attack in the face of this invincible devil, without fear of waiting to die. P.S. 5000 word chapter. Daily 6 updates. Fourth update. Please subscribe. Please customize. Please collect. Chapter 215. Kill all the past and future. Not worth mentioning. Boom. Boom. The deafening roar resounded, and the entire Julie was covered. The entire sea seemed to have fallen into an unbelievable level. In this short period of time, everything in the entire Julie seemed to be destroyed. Same again. What? Roar. At this moment, a shrill scream came. Momosuke's incarnation of the peach-colored giant dragon was twisting his body in the sky. He let out a painful wailing sound. Kaido did not have any moves, not any the ability is pure hand-to-hand -hand combat, and the terrifying power can easily tear the opponent apart. Worororo. Kaido left terrifying wounds on Momosuke's body, the corners of his mouth grinned, and he said savagely, is that all? Don't make Lao Tzu laugh. Momosuke, you are just a piece of trash, one who has been imitating Lao Tzu all the time. The rubbish, you don't have your own strength at all, you simply have nothing, just a guy like you, I don't need to put you in the eyes at all. Roar. Kaido's voice fell, followed by a terrifying roar, and there was no hesitation at all. The shot was a tearing attack, the dragon's claws were torn, the dragon's tail was slapped, and under the terrifying offensive, it seemed that everything would be torn apart. Generally. What? Ah. 99. In the face of Kaido's offensive, 
Momosuke can only let out a painful wailing sound, he is not Kaido's opponent at all, or that sentence. Momosuke's strength is not weak, but you have to say how powerful he is. Feel sorry. That's just a joke. Just like what Alan said, a weak person doesn't need to be looked down upon at all. Your heart is a weak person. Then, even if you try your best, in the end, you still a weakling, there is no doubt about that. Remember, the weak are not qualified at all, this is something that does not need to be doubted at all, you are just a weak, and under such a result, what will happen next? In fact, it is already a thing that does not need to be doubted. Roar. Worororo. With the roar and the terrifying crazy laughter, Kaido has completely suppressed Momosuke, no matter what kind of power it is, it is not worth mentioning at all, Momosuke is not Kaido's opponent at all, from start to finish, two people are not opponents of the same level, it seems that there is no comparability at all. For Kaido, Momosuke is like a shadow of himself, imitating everything of himself, but there is no shadow of growth. There is a good sentence, will I lose to myself yesterday? Stop it, I will never lose to myself yesterday, if there is no progress, on this dangerous sea, then it is better to die. Remember, on this sea, everyone is only weak after all, death is the result in front of you. There is no need for any hesitation, and no need for any nonsense. This is the result that has been destined. For this sea, if you do not become stronger, then you will become weaker, and the result is death. This is the only result. It will never change, this is such a dangerous sea. Roar. Ow. Kaido and Momosuke fought in the sky, and both dragons fell from the sky and fell down instantly. Boom. It seemed that the earth had been smashed into a deep pit. At the same time, Kong Yunchi air shock cut. Odin two swords, Tian Yu Yan Mo. The battle between Newgate and Kazuki Odin is still going on. No matter what kind of opponent they are facing, Newgate's tricks seem to always be the same, or rather. That's true, Newgate's tricks are so many, it's always been that way. For Newgate, not too many powerful tricks, not so many bells and whistles, one trick. Two tricks, three tricks, that's enough, maybe not for others, but for as far as Newgate is concerned, his only tricks like this are enough. It can be said, Newgate has absolute confidence, he is very clear that the strength of the strong is the development of his hockey, his physical skills, his own kendo, and his own fruits, not those fancy tricks. It's meaningless. What new tricks have you developed that can improve your strength? This is pure nonsense. Don't make trouble, it's meaningless at all. Because of this, under such a result, you need to become stronger, or you need to work hard to become stronger, otherwise everything will be meaningless. Only your own strength is the most important. Same. In the face of Newgate, which has not changed from beginning to end, but is always so terrifying, Kazuki Odin also has a solemn expression. He also raised his hand, and the knife has fallen. In an instant, the figures of gods and demons appeared at the same time. Out. Boom. The offensive of the two exploded in an instant, followed closely, as if they had fallen into silence. Goo la la la. Newgate laughed proudly. Interesting. Interesting. Really good strength. As expected of you guys, really good strength. Newgate's eyes were filled with endless heroism and pride, and at this moment Kazuki Odin's face was gradually pale, it is undeniable that he has gradually reached his limit. Obviously, whether to admit it or not, Kazuki Odin's strength is really unbearable. Ha, ha, panting slightly, Kazuki Odin's face was not good looking, after all. In some battles, he and Newgate fought for their lives, but what happened? Opponent. The opponent's injury is directly restored. This, it is the thing that makes people feel the most hopeless. It is obvious that everything is in front of us, but the final result is just like this. Can. No matter how Kazuki Odin thinks about it, one thing that must be admitted is that the opponent's strength is strong enough. Really strong enough, otherwise. In the face of such an opponent, you simply have no hesitation. Pooh. He spat out a mouthful of blood at will, and Kazuki Odin's face was very solemn. He stared at Newgate, daring not to be careless. Ah. 35. Goo la la la. Newgate laughed casually. It looks like it's time to end the battle here, and it's a waste of time to continue, if that's the case. Then there's no need to continue wasting time. The corners of his mouth opened with a hideous smile, and Newgate had come straight to Kazuki Odin with Kong Yunchi in hand. Snapped. Snapped. Looking at Newgate walking step by step, Kazuki Odin's expression became more and more solemn, and he said in a low voice, Little Beiji. Sure enough, no matter what time it is, you are so terrifying. If it is really small look at your words, but you have to pay the price with your life. Hee <laughs> hee. Kazuki Odin feels the injury on his body and knows. He can't hold on for long, but because of this. Kazuki Odin is even more unable to retreat. He knows that he is everyone's belief. If he retreats, everything is pointless. Odin two swords, Taoyuan Shirataki. A sharp light flashed across his eyes, and in an instant, the knife fell, and Kazuki Odin burst out with extremely powerful strength, but he knew whether he would win or lose, and the final result. Thing. Everything. It's all things you can't be sure of. Crackling. Everything in a short period of time as if the curtain has come to an end, all this is too fast, almost to the point of making people feel hesitant, everyone is caught in this terrifying war. 
Whitebeard pirates. 30,000 warriors. Everyone did not flinch at all. Everyone knew very well that in such a battlefield, there was no need to flinch at all, but it was enough to set the world in one battle, kill the opponent with absolute power, and use absolute power to kill the opponent with absolute power. The strength to defeat the opponent, this is the most important. Only, compared with the battle between the second and third children, the battle on Alan's side seems to be simpler, even to say. The simplicity seems to be a problem. Snapped. Snapped. Walking on the ground step by step, Alan's every step brought a wave of heat, which directly burned the ground into terrifying deep pits, Alan grinned, and said hideously, Hey. Hey. So, is there only such strength? It really makes Lao Tzu feel bored. Can you guys give Lao Tzu a little more seriousness? 55. Search. Licking the corner of his mouth slightly, Alan said fiercely and extremely crazy and terrifying, If it was just like this, I would feel very bored. You guys, really don't have any fun. Hee <laughs> hee. The hideous and cruel smile is laughing, and Alan's expression is full of endless madness, like a terrifying evil ghost. The horror and horror that Alan exudes at this moment is the real feeling. To endless fear. Tick tock. Tick tock. Both Shimotsuki Ryoma and Huji have scars on their bodies. The injuries of the two have become more and more serious, but the two dare not have any righteousness. They stared at the opponent in front of them. Dare to back down, even a little bit. Maybe. The end result is fatal. It's troublesome. Ah. 35. Shimotsuki Ryoma and Huji looked at each other and said solemnly, it's not the opponent of this monster at all. This monster is really scary and terrifying. Zero. Ask for flowers. Yes. Are these two weak? No. The two are absolutely real and have admiral level strength, which is a pity. Alan is too strong. It is truly as terrifying as a monster. Invincible. It can be called invincible in the world's strength. This man is so terrifying, he can be called the invincible strength in the world. This is Edward Allen. This man should no longer be called a demon, but a monster like a demon. This man is like an invincible man. It is so terrifying. Whether you admit it or deny it, what you have to admit is this, this monster is really terrifying, and even more terrifying, this is something that must be admitted. Once upon a time, Rox D. Zevik, this terrifying man on the sea, faced so many strong men in the valley of God with his own power, if he hadn't reached the limit of his life, he would have killed all those monsters. Killing is no problem at all. It is undeniable to say. The current Alan's Conqueror's Hockey is indeed inferior to Captain Rox. But this is only the difference between Conqueror's Hockey. Besides, the overall strength of Alan and Captain Rox is almost indistinguishable. Just like what Captain Rox said, Alan, the monster, will grow up in a very short time and become one of the most terrifying monsters. It turns out it is. Alan really did it. This man grew up in a very short period of time, and became an unparalleled monster. I don't know how to describe it in words. Such a terrifying monster is the most terrifying. The most terrifying. Snapped. Snapped. Alan grinned and said cruelly. Aren't you two guys going to take the initiative to attack? That's really boring. If that's the case, then I'm welcome. I'll let you know, whether it's the future or the future. In the past, in front of Lao Tzu, it means nothing at all, and in Lao Tzu's eyes, you have no meaning. 35. A terrifying killing intent burst out, Alan's breath became more and more terrifying, and the whole person turned into an afterimage and disappeared without a trace. Not good. Coming. Shimotsuki Ryoma and Tuji's eyes shrank instantly, and the two of them had already felt that a terrifying breath swept over them instantly. I I slash. 99. Only. Roar. The sharp claws that looked like demons emerged and grabbed the terrifying knife directly. Alan said savagely. It seems that your eye eye is only like this. If that's the case, then this is the end. Right, isn't it? A cruel smile appeared, and Alan punched Shimotsuki Ryoma directly and smashed it down. Boom. Huji, on the other hand, took the form of a human and beast, and directly blocked Alan's blow with his hands crossed. His mouth widened, feeling the enormous pressure and said, I'm sorry. But I can't just let you succeed like this. Otherwise, we are too embarrassed. Oh, the corners of Alan's mouth twitched, and he said interestingly, not bad. Not bad. I like guys like you the most, and everyone has good strength. If that's the case, if so, I'm very boring. Ha ha ha. With this crazy laughter, Alan is like a lunatic, how terrifying the power that burst out in a short period of time. Crackling. Boom. Under the collision of fists and fists, the power of Alan's every punch is enough to make the whole sea tremble, and it can make the whole world feel endless fear for it. This is Alan's terrible, invincible power, and all this is just the beginning. Bump. Bump. The power of this punch fell directly, and Alan's offensive burst out in a short period of time seemed to make people feel endlessly frightened. Shimotsuki Ryoma. Tiger Times. The expressions of the two of them are abnormally ugly. Under this unparalleled huge pressure, they all feel extremely difficult, but no matter what. The two of them can't back down, because the two of them are very clear. I retreated here, and I am afraid that the next thing I have to bear is death. Alan. Newgate, Kaido. In the eyes of the three Edward brothers, Wanokuni's so-called interweaving of the past and the future. It's not worth mentioning at all. In Lao Tzu's eyes, aren't you very arrogant? 
Sure. I just need to kill you all, your hope. It's nothing at all, as long as you kill all of you. Your so-called hope is just a joke, a hope that is not worth mentioning at all. P.S. 5000 word chapter. Daily 6 updates. 5th update. Please subscribe. Please customize. Please collect. Chapter 216. Wanokuni. Will be ruled by me forever. Tick tock. Tick tock. Ha. Ha. With the sound of blood dripping to the ground, Momosuke's face was abnormally pale, as if he had reached the limit, and there were scars on his body that seemed to be unable to recover. Snapped. Carrying the mace, Kaido said boredly, Momosuke. It turns out that you have only so much strength. It's really boring. If that's the case, just let Lao Tzu kill you. 99. Snapped. Snapped. Step by step towards Kaido, Momosuke's face is getting more and more ugly, even more and more hideous. Momosuke's inner weakness has been exposed again. He is in fear, even saying, he wants to escape, just. As he grew, he knew that he couldn't do it, if he did. David Thunder ate trigrams. Wrapped around Conqueror's hockey and covered with armament hockey, Kaido's body instantly transformed into a human beast form. In an instant, the force that seemed to be terrifying to the point of invincibility fell like this. Everything was too fast, it was coming to the extent that you can't even notice it. Tick tock, tick tock. Under this blow, Momosuke was directly knocked out, and he spouted blood. Although he had not died, he had endured this blow and suffered an unparalleled enormous pressure. Boom. Hit the ground hard, Momosuke felt the huge pressure, his face was pale, and his expression was full of hideous words, no. No, I don't want to die. I can't say it here. I am the general of Wanokuni. Quote. Roar. With this deafening roar, Momosuke also turned into a human beast form, but. A strange scene appeared that Momosuke, who transformed into a human beast form, did not fight, but to turn around and escape. 3. And this scene makes people feel a kind of irony when they watch it. Just watch. 66.99. The warriors around them all fell into silence and looked at all this in disbelief. They couldn't imagine that the people they followed just escaped like this. This is something they can't believe at all. Eyes widened, at this moment, they seemed to have fallen into silence. Silently bowing their heads, they didn't know what to continue to say, but at this moment, they were truly silent. Although they were still fighting, their original spirit was instantly weakened to the ultimate. What? Sure enough. 95. Kaido said with indifference. You guy, you are simply a worthless garbage. In Lao Tzu's eyes, you are really too weak. It makes people feel endlessly disgusting. There was no emotional fluctuation in his eyes, Kaido's eyes did not contain any emotional fluctuation, only endless indifference, and in such indifference, Kaido clenched the mace indifferently, and then that's it. David Thunder ate trigrams. In an instant, under the extremely fast offensive, it brought a blow that made people feel endlessly terrifying. In an instant, it was as if the sky was torn apart, and everything fell into silence, as if. Tracked. This is too fast, almost to the point where people have no time to notice. Snapped. Momosuke's head exploded like a watermelon, and Kaido picked up his mace and said with disdain, it's really a pure weak. Such a guy has no meaning at all. Kaido just glanced at Momosuke, and didn't take it seriously at all, too weak. Too weak. This guy is really weak and pitiful, he is not worth mentioning at all, just such a guy, do you need to let go? In the eyes, it's like a joke. Humph. With an indifferent snort, Kaido just turned around and left without looking at Momosuke's fallen corpse. It's just garbage. Do you need to think about such garbage? It doesn't make any sense. Momosuke. Die. Bump. Bump. In the face of Alan's staggered fists and indiscriminate bombardment, Shimotsuki Ryoma and Huji were both under unparalleled enormous pressure. Things that people can't imagine at all, under such an amazing offensive, whether to admit it or not. A. The two of them could hardly bear it. Bull rush. Dragon blast. Electric eye burst. 95. One after another terrifying shock wave fell madly, and at the same time, the invincible force of punches smashed down directly. The force that erupted in this short period of time actually directly destroyed the Black Sword Chushui in Shimotsuki Ryoma's hand. Click. With this crisp and melodious voice, the Black Sword Chushui in Shimotsuki Ryoma's hand shattered in an instant. This scene made everyone's eyes widen in disbelief, and as Momosuke fled, the original spirits are warriors who have reached a limit. Right now, although they haven't completely collapsed, it can be said that they are almost there. They really can't bear it a little bit. This is really too terrifying, how terrible and invincible is this? That is the Black Knife and Autumn Water. For everyone in Wanokuni, no matter what their identities are, no matter who they are, but. These are all things that are not important at all. For them, the Black Knife and Autumn Water is the their national treasure, and Shimotsuki Ryoma is the invincible existence in their hearts, and now this invincible existence has fallen like this, this is completely unbelievable, isn't it? Completely in disbelief, he fell like this, as if he had no power to fight back, was broken like this, fell like this, this invincible existence, with his fall, all the warriors at this moment have fallen into a kind of daze. They do not know, will they be able to persevere, and what will be the result? 
This moment, everyone is like this. They don't know what will happen next, let alone what the next result will be. They can only keep silent, it is too terrifying. Despair. It has gradually spread among all people. It is the real despair that comes from the heart and from the soul. They can't see any hope, as if all this is over. It makes people feel there is only endless fear. Are we over? Maybe. Odin-sama hasn't fallen yet. We can't give up. That's right. Their spirits and energy have reached their limit. With Momosuke's fall and the break of the Black Sword Autumn Water, they almost collapsed. However, at this moment, Kazuki Odin is still standing in front of you. Whether it is anyway, Kazuki Odin is their god, and as long as Kazuki Odin is still standing here, then maybe that's enough. Quote dot 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 quote. 59. They kept silent, didn't know what to say, fell into complete silence, didn't know how to deal with it, but. They can't admit defeat here. Kill, kill. With a terrifying roar, they roared again, that's right. No matter what the result is, they must not retreat here, attack. Attack, keep attacking. Even if they die, they will die on the battlefield. The life of the slaves, they no longer want to continue, and will never continue, for them, all they have to do is to show their courage, they want to live. They want to live better. Or, to die in battle, as a samurai, die in battle like this is acceptable to them, but no matter what, they will never come here just like this. Kill. With a deafening roar, these samurai let out a frantic roar, and they had launched a suicide attack. Humph. 35. In the face of such an attack, Abel, Bullet, Marco and others are full of endless disdain, is that so? It's too weak. It's not worth mentioning at all, okay. Don't need to pay attention to it, desperately. Stop making trouble. Desperate is when the strength of the two sides is similar, then it is called desperate. And you. It's just a bunch of garbage like ants, you guys are also worthy of your hard work. It's like a joke. Facing these guys, just crushing them directly is enough. It's not worth mentioning at all. The battlefield is still fighting, just. From the beginning to the end, this battle is unequal, because the strength of the Whitebeard Pirates is really here, and they are simply not comparable to them. Euro! Exclamation mark. Huji knelt down on one knee, his two arms had been broken, his face was pale, he slowly raised his head, he looked at the man in the captain's coat, with a long knife on the left and a gun on the right, but he felt arrive. Invincible. With just these two words, this man is really too strong, to the point of being invincible, this man is like a real monster, like a real devil, what makes people feel is only endless terror, because. You can't see any hope of victory in him. Tiger Kai knows, Shimotsuki Ryoma knows, both of them are very clear that with their strength, in the face of this terrifying monster, there is absolutely no way to fight back, really. From start to finish, they are not opponents at all. Even a little bit of hope. Feel sorry. This is nothing at all, there is no hope at all, desperate is the choice of a slightly weaker person facing the strong, and ants facing the strong, then the result is not the so-called desperate can do, because. You have absolutely no chance of winning from the very beginning. That's it. Alan's eyes were filled with calm and indifference, and three demonic energy burst out from his body. Ended. With one hand open, the magic energy of fire and wind burst out, covering Shimotsuki Ryoma and Huji directly. This is the final blow. What? Besides that, there is no other way. 35. Shimotsuki Ryoma and Huji looked at each other, and they both showed a smile, followed closely behind. The two shot at the same time. Even death. Even if it's over. But, they won't just wait to die like this, they also have to show their strength. Even if they fail, they still have to show their strength to kill their opponents, which is absolutely beyond doubt. I I raising sword. Destruction of new. The slashing and roaring turned into two figures galloping towards Alan. The devil of fire. The devil of the wind. Die. Alan opened his left and right hands, leaving only invincible power. The wind and flames intertwined and turned into two demons. In an instant, everything has been devoured. All of this is too terrifying. Ah, that invincible gesture devoured everything in an instant. Short time. This is really too scary. Everything. It all came to an end at this moment. Hum. A stream of light appeared, and Alan's expression returned to calm, but watching the two corpses on the ground were just indifferent flames falling, just like this devoured the two people, they have no meaning at all. As the two were devoured, everything returned to calm. Kill them all, and leave none. Yes, uncle. Roar. A deafening roar echoed Alan, and there was no need to hesitate, because the battle is over here. No matter who the opponent is, they will defeat the opponent. That's enough. Ha, ha. Kazuki Odin knelt down on one knee, gasping for breath, and his face was abnormally pale. He raised his head with difficulty, looked at the three people who had stood together again, and said softly, no opponent at all. Really, I never thought that the strength would be so terrifying. With an ugly look on his face, Kazuki Odin really never thought that the opponent's strength would be so terrifying, this. It's simply not a level, and there is no comparison. Looks like it, Alan said casually, you are still defeated. Not bad, your resistance still feels good, but it's a pity. It's just not enough to watch. Alan is full of randomness, resistance to these two people. Sorry, Alan really doesn't care at all, too weak. 
Too weak. It's not worth mentioning at all. Only such resistance. That's not at all it's just worthless rubbish. And such an opponent. Alan really doesn't care about it at all. Asshole. Kazuki Odin's 5.9 color face was extremely ugly. After scolding in a low voice, he shook his head and said, it's not an opponent at all. It's really uncomfortable. Facing you, all I feel is endless despair. It's not a level opponent. Isn't this a matter of course? Alan put his hands in his pockets and said proudly, you garbage, whether it comes from the past or the future, that's all. In Lao Tzu's eyes, you are just a bunch of garbage, to be honest. Wanokuni, all a bunch of idiots. You're an idiot, and your son is a piece of shit, as for Wanokuni. Feel sorry. I feel that this Wanokuni has no need to exist. Next, Wanokuni will be a slave in the hands of Lao Tzu, and will be ruled by Lao Tzu forever. With the passage of time, the entire Wanokuni will collapse completely. Alan is full of endless indifference and no emotion at all, as if he doesn't take everything in Wanokuni in his eyes. That's right. I am a person who looks down on Wanokuni. It is undeniable that Wanokuni is a country with a very special geographical location and rich materials, but apart from these, everything else in this country is really worthless in Alan's eyes. Just mention it. Too weak. Too weak. The people of this country are born to be slaves, and beyond that, everything else is meaningless. Alan grinned and said casually, So, your presence will only exacerbate Wanokuni's destruction and pain. Other than that, it has no effect at all, Kazuki Odin, you can look forward to it, Wanokuni what's next? P.S. 5000 word chapter. Daily 6 updates. 6th update. Please subscribe. Please customize. Please collect. Chapter 217. Wanokuni destroyed in despair. Asshole. Kazuki Odin let out an angry growl, and he rushed straight up. Pity. Puff. Tick tock. Tick tock. With the sound that penetrated in an instant, Kazuki Odin looked at his pierced chest and lowered his head silently, his life reached the limit like this, a drop of blood dripped, his face was filled with endless paleness, a mouthful of blood squirting. Wow. A mouthful of blood spurted out, and Kazuki Odin fell to the ground softly. His life reached its limit, and he also reached his own limit. After all, he fell like this. He looked deeply at everything in front of him, as if he wanted to resist. And it seems that he wants to do something, but he can't do anything. Puff. Kazuki Odin fell, and the entire battlefield collapsed in an instant. All the warriors, the spirit in their hearts completely disappeared, Kazuki Odin was their belief, and now their belief has fallen, for for them, everything is over because it has no meaning. Ended. Death. Hee <laughs> hee. With this sarcastic smile, they fell one by one, and lost their lives completely. It's a pity. Their resistance seems to be good, but it's a pity. It's not worth mentioning at all. The so-called resistance is simply not taken into account. Don't keep any of them, deal with them all. 99. Yes. Following Alan's order, the following Whitebeard pirates have started massacres in all aspects, from all aspects, it is not a level of battle at all, the two sides seem to be incomparable. The warriors of Wanokuni, no matter what kind of resistance they launch, it is actually meaningless, their lives will just disappear like this, they will just fall like this, because they are not opponents at all that's it. The so-called Wanokuni samurai, actually, it's just trash that is not worth mentioning at all. Such trash is not taken into account at all, because they are too weak, so weak, they are not worth mentioning at all. Do they still need to be taken into account? The truth is, there is no need at all. Humph. The corners of his mouth twitched indifferently, Alan swept over the corpses one by one, and O6 said indifferently, I would like to see, who would want to resist next. He he he, ha ha ha, I'm looking forward to it. A ferocious and cruel smile emerged. Alan's killing intent was so terrifying, like a ghost from hell, exuding an invincible aura, and exuding a power that made people feel endlessly terrified. Alan at this moment is too scary. Can. No matter what the result was, he turned around, and Alan left indifferently. With Alan's departure, everything that followed was very interesting. What would the next result be? Hee <laughs> hee. This is a very interesting thing. Because, no one knows, what will happen next, maybe it will be hell, maybe it will be purgatory. Maybe, it will be the beginning, no one knows, but ah. One thing is for sure, for the whole Wanokuni, the next thing may be unacceptable to anyone. Flower Capital. General's House. What? 9. Kurozumi's eyes widened in shock, his eyes filled with disbelief, and he said in fear, the people of the Kazuki clan have appeared again. Kazuki Odin, Kazuki Odin's son Momosuke, and Shimotsuki Ryoma, and the strength of terrible tiger time. On the Julie side, 30,000 slaves were actually freed. Impossible. Impossible. 39. This. Kurozumi Orochi is full of endless fear. His fear of the Kazuki family comes from the soul, it comes from the soul, the fear comes from the bones, this is really not a joke, but a real source of for the fear of the soul, for the Kurozumi serpent, he is full of endless fear, at this moment, it is really full of endless terror. Dot. Can. No matter what, at this moment. Kurozumi is shivering, he really doesn't know what to do next, he is shivering with fear, feeling the invincible power. Gudong. Swallowing saliva deeply, did the Kazuki clan actually come back again? 
Asshole, asshole. Didn't those guys from the Whitebeard Pirates say it? The Kazuki clan in Wanokuni are all cleaned up. How is it possible? How is it possible? At this moment, the Kurozumi Orochi really has no masters, really. It's not surprising that Kurozumi Higarashi finally gave up ruling Wanokuni, but turned to absolute horror to make the whole Wanokuni suffer endless pain, this is not surprising matter. Kurozumi Orochi is too embarrassing, he is not a qualified monarch at all. In other words, Kurozumi Orochi is really embarrassing, too weak. Too weak. Kurozumi Orochi is even worth mentioning, for such a guy, anyone with a little brain can see that Kurozumi Orochi is a shame. Actually, as long as the Kurozumi Orochi has enough talent, enough ability, or even say. Even if the Kurozumi Orochi can give birth to offspring, it will not be the case for Kurozumi Higarashi, she will let Wanokuni directly into the control of the Kurozumi clan. Don't doubt, Kurozumi Higarashi definitely has such ability, as a terrifying existence, Kurozumi Higarashi master has a lot of power, as long as she wants, it is not a difficult thing to do it, even to say it. For Kurozumi Higarashi is an easy thing to do, because of that. If Kurozumi Higarashi didn't really have a little bit of hope, there would be nothing but endless despair. Kurozumi Higarashi would not have done such a thing. What she really felt was endless despair. Feel bad, Kurozumi Orochi is nothing. If so, when Kurozumi Higarashi was young, it was okay to take this position by himself, but the problem is. His age is also old. As for Kurozumi Kanjiro, sorry, that's a branch house person, and a branch house person, no matter what time it is, it is not qualified as the main position, there is absolutely no doubt about it. Snapped, snapped, and just when Kurozumi Serpent barked incompetently, and a calm footstep came, Kurozumi Higarashi walked into the room and said respectfully, Master Orochi. You can calm down, the matter of Julie has been dealt with. Now. What? What? 99. Kurozumi Orochi's whole body was full of shock, has the matter of Julie been dealt with? 55 feet. Yes. Kurozumi Higarashi sat down on his knees, bowed slightly, and said with sharp eyes, the Whitebeard Pirates have completely controlled the entire situation in Julie, one of these guys has already been dealt with, it can be said that it is not it's worth mentioning. Kazuki Odin. 99. Momosuke. 35. Shimotsuki Ryoma. Tiger Times. All four have died, Kazuki Odin was defeated by Newgate, beheaded by Alan, and Momosuke was killed by Kaido, as for the last Shimotsuki Ryoma and Toji, the two joined forces, but Alan easily it's just beheading. All the 30,000 warriors who resisted are not left behind, all of them have been beheaded. When Kurozumi Higarashi said such a record, he couldn't help but sigh. The strength is too terrifying, it's like a monster. In other words, the opponent's strength is simply endless horror, so the strength is simply terrifying and makes people feel terrified. Is this power weak? Do not. Kazuki Odin, Momosuke, Shimotsuki Ryoma, and Toji, these are four admiral-level powerhouses. But what about the final result? It's not worth mentioning at all. It never existed at all. Or, they are like weaklings one by one, it is simply unbelievable. Such strength is really too terrifying, it has been terrifying to the extent that people can't imagine it at all, but because of this, this stock the power is the most terrifying. Second point, Wanokuni's 30,000 samurai, even though they have been slaves for 10 years, are Wanokuni's 30,000 samurai weak? Not weak, their strength is not weak at all, this is a full 30,000 samurai ah. In Wanokuni, they are all elites among the elites, but unfortunately. In the end, there is only one result, that is, it is not worth mentioning at all, and it is completely crushed and defeated. This is the power of the Whitebeard Pirates, like the power of a god. Kurozumi Higarashi has to admit that under the rule of the Whitebeard Pirates, Wanokuni wants to resist. Stop it, that is impossible. The power that is put here now, not to mention the alliances in the original book, even if you pull everyone in the Whitebeard Pirates except Whitebeard, your head will be crushed for you, because the strength is no longer one. There is a level, the two sides can be said to have no comparability, and in such a situation, there is no doubt about what the result will be. The reason is very simple. Time. So do the results need more words. Obviously, this is not necessary at all. Because, when you are not at a level at all, you continue to consider, you continue to discuss, so many things are meaningless. Humph. 99. Kurozumi Orochi knew the specific situation, and immediately sarcastically said, a bunch of garbage. A bunch of garbage. Sure enough, the guys in the Kazuki family are just a bunch of garbage, they don't need to be taken seriously, they are not worth mentioning. Not worth it. Mention. These are pure rubbish that is not worth mentioning. Point three five. Higurashi, is there anything to deal with next? Have. Quote. Looking at the changes of Kurozumi Orochi before and after, Kurozumi Higurashi didn't say anything, it's already like this, it's pointless to continue to sigh, if that's the case, then it's better to change the method, the corners of his mouth grin, fiercely said, Lord Orochi. The Whitebeard Pirate's thoughts, don't need to waste time. For Wanokuni, you can do whatever you want, and they have to let Wanokuni know. Despair. Pain. Destroy. That's right. 35. The three Edward brothers want Wanokuni to perish in despair, pain, and destruction, complete destruction. 
There is no need to be as eager as before, Lord Serpent. What you want to do is what you can do. Everything is up to you.55. Hehehehe. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Kurozumi, the snake, laughed wildly, it's great. It's great. If it wasn't for the Whitebeard pirates who wanted to make money. I wouldn't be merciful to these guys at all. Next. Everything is about to begin. Filled with endless madness, under the guidance of Kurozumi Higarashi, Kurozumi Orochi has gone completely crazy. For him, everything is nothing at all. He doesn't care, and he doesn't care at all, because now the Kurozumi Orochi is a terrifying lunatic. He is a terrifying monster. Therefore, this is the Kurozumi Orochi now, whether he admits it or not, Kurozumi Orochi is a lunatic, for Kurozumi Orochi, he doesn't care about it at all, he just wants to destroy. He just wants to be crazy. In the past 10 years, if the Whitebeard Pirates hadn't wanted to make money, Wanokuni would have been destroyed by the Kurozumi Orochi if nothing else happened. This is the current Kurozumi clan, they are not so much trying to compete for Wanokuni. They are just a group of vengeful undead. For 943 and them, everything in the past, they don't care anymore, everything in the future, they too they don't care at all, because now they are a group of terrifying undead, all they want is revenge, that is, everything they want. That's what they think, other than that, sorry, everything else for these horrible lunatics, they really don't care at all, because for them, death is enough. They don't care what comes next everything that will happen. Even death, it's meaningless to them, and that's enough. Hee <laughs> hee. With this weird and hideous smile, Kurozumi Higarashi bowed slightly and said, Lord Orochi, old lady, I'll retire first. What? What? Kurozumi Orochi waved his hand casually, while Kurozumi Higarashi exited the room, she was walking on the road, Kurozumi Semimaru followed Kurozumi Higarashi, said softly, Higarashi-sama, is this the end? What? Kurozumi Higarashi also nodded silently and said, Yes. Everything is over like this, and it is meaningless to continue, because everything is meaningless. That's how the curtain came to an end, after all that's it. Shaking her head silently, Kurozumi Higarashi is very clear about what will happen next. She knows that it is impossible for the Kurozumi family to revive. In that case, let the entire Wanokuni be buried together. The Kazuki family, do not, do not, not only the Kazuki family, but the Kazuki family is simply meaningless. Kurozumi Higarashi's idea has never been so simple, and it is impossible to simply hope that the Kazuki family will be buried with her. What she wants is the burial of the entire Wanokuni. The whole Wanokuni was destroyed like this, that's what Kurozumi Higarashi thought. Kurozumi Higarashi has not changed from beginning to end. Revenge. Destroy. Burial. This is what Kurozumi Higarashi thinks, when she finds that everything is impossible, then it will be destroyed. Everything is destroyed, so isn't it the best result? Hee <laughs> hee. That's what Kurozumi Higarashi thinks, no matter the outcome. You have to admit it. Kurozumi Higarashi did it, and it did it perfectly. Yes, that's the madness of Kurozumi Higarashi, it turns out. Kurozumi Higarashi did indeed, she was filled with endless madness. And the whole Wanokuni is about to be destroyed in her hands, this is Kurozumi Higarashi, this is a horror. Terrible, crazy monster, she is about to destroy the whole Wanokuni, and this is about to begin. Do not, do not, it should be said that the real destruction of Wanokuni begins. P.S. 5000 word chapter. Daily 6 updates. First update. Please subscribe. Please customize. Please collect. Chapter 218. Set sail. 13 little devils. Wanokuni. What will come next will be a terrifying storm, and will it be a storm of destruction? One year, two years, or three or five years? No one knows. This time will definitely not be too long. The Kurozumi family, after they are not bound by the Whitebeard pirates, they are like the Nine Tails who broke free from the chains. They only want to destroy, they just want revenge, they just want to destroy Wanokuni, this is the idea of the Kurozumi family. For the entire Kurozumi clan, there is no hope for them to continue. If this is the case, then everything they have now is meaningless. Destroy. Destroy. Destroy the entire Wanokuni completely. Is it the most appropriate thing to do? That's right. This is the most appropriate thing, and this is the craziest side of the Kurozumi clan, for these terrifying lunatics, they don't care about everything else, they only care about endless destruction and destruction, which is completely enough. Crackling. Crackling. Wanokuni's next pain is like this terrible storm, it will fall, it will cover the entire Wanokuni. It will destroy everything, and make the entire Wanokuni fall into such an endless cage the terrifying power of, and the invincible power that anyone must admit. He he he, responding to Wanokuni seems to be Kurozumi Orochi. This weird and crazy laughter makes everyone fall into endless trembling and fear. All they feel is shivering. It is too much to make people feel endless, of fear. As if, as if looming, Wanokuni has gradually been covered by the entire Kurozumi clan, and the shadow of death has covered the entire Wanokuni, this is the beginning, and if everything that follows cannot be done, then there is only endless destruction. On the Moby Dick, Wu, breathing out a puff of smoke, Alan pondered. Normally, there shouldn't be any problems with Wanokuni next, what should be dealt with has already been dealt with, 
the fruit of time, the fruit of the past, even there the fruit-powered ones haven't died yet, but these people have been beheaded by us. The death of Shimotsuki Ryoma represents the death of Shimotsuki Ryoma in the past. The death of Kazuki Odin, Momosuke, and Tuji also represents that in the future, these three people have died, and you can no longer find these three people, no matter at any point in time. Not to mention, even if you are a capable person, you must travel to that time before you can send people back, otherwise, everything is meaningless, to put it bluntly. The result is that it is already in front of you, and the whole Wanokuni has no hope. Now, there is only endless despair in this Wanokuni. This terrifying despair will cover the entire Wanokuni and completely devour the entire Wanokuni. This is the most terrifying and the most terrifying thing. Ah, because of such invincible power, no one knows what the next Wanokuni will be. That will be unparalleled, the most terrifying power. Even say, what the next Wanokuni will be like, it is already self-evident. From here, it can be seen that the essence of Wanokuni has become what it is. Despair, fear, death, these are the results of everything, this is what is beyond doubt, this is Wanokuni now, everything is already doomed. He he he, with a sarcastic smile, Kaido sarcastically said, big brother. Guys like Wanokuni are just as pure as rubbish, they don't need to be taken seriously, these guys are really too weak. It's not worth mentioning at all. Kaido is really full of disdain, Kazuki Odin is still a qualified opponent, as for Momosuke. Don't make trouble, this guy is just a boring waste, his strength is simply weak and pitiful, and he doesn't need to be placed into that level in the eyes. Is there any need to say more about this level of rubbish? That's right, there's no need at all, that's why there's no doubt about it. That's why, Kaido doesn't like this kind of rubbish, and so said Wanokuni, it's just rubbish among rubbish. Well, Alan lit a cigarette and said casually, it's almost there. Wanokuni's overall strength is indeed very weak, it can be said that there is no need to care too much, after all. Wanokuni is only a small part of the whole new world after all. It's just a small country, such a country, to have these good powerhouses, has already hollowed out the entire history. But, it's just something that doesn't matter, and I think it doesn't matter that much. Alan said casually, it's just a small problem anyway, I don't care about it. Woo, with a puff of smoke, Alan said casually, it's just a small problem anyway. It's not a big problem, forget it. Let's not discuss this matter, the Wanokuni matter has been dealt with almost, and the next thing is nothing to worry about. Indeed, Wanokuni's situation has also been dealt with, and the rest. It is no accident that under the high pressure rule of Kurozumi Orochi, someone will break out a powerful force of resistance, but. These are all indifferent things. After all, Wanokuni these rubbish, one by one, in their hearts only the Kazuki family is their god, if the Kazuki family is destroyed, they don't care about it at all, for them. All this Wanokuni is worthless at all just mention it. Humph. There was a sarcastic smile on the corner of his mouth, and Alan's expression was full of disdain, but ah. To these rubbish, the Kazuki family is the god of Wanokuni, and to these rubbish, except for the Kazuki family if they are not there with them, it is estimated that they will not even dare to resist. Alan shrugged casually. Seriously. Why do you look down on Wanokuni? In fact, this is the fundamental reason. This is the most fundamental and most worthy of attention. You can say it bluntly. This is the biggest question here it is. Otherwise, for Alan, everything else is nothing, it's just little things. It really doesn't matter at all. Wanokuni. This is the end of the matter so far, no matter what, the Wanokuni matter is over. Woo. A puff of smoke was exhaled, and Alan pondered, if you count the time. The pirate ship of this little devil, Makuge, has already been built, right? Um. Newgate nodded and said, big brother. Maguay's pirate ship has been built, and it's almost ready. Ro. Alan nodded and said very calmly. Since it's ready, these brats are going to set sail, right? These stinky brats have already been waiting, right? 99. He he he. Alan couldn't help but chuckle with a smile. For these stinky bastards, they are all very interesting. They have already made preparations. For them, it is time for them to set sail. What they want to do is to step into the sea to create their own look, instead of standing behind their parents forever. Let's go. Um. The three brothers stood up, all with smiles. Next. It's time for these little devils to leave. In this case, as a father and an elder, it's time to give these little devils a gift. Wow, wow. The sea water churned and slapped the pirate ship, and the overall appearance seemed to have a pattern of arcs, and the very gorgeous pirate ship felt very comfortable. Arc number. Makuge's pirate ship, after waiting for almost half a month, it is finally ready. Ha ha ha. Makugai also smiled and said, finally, everything is ready. Next, it's time to set sail. That's right. 35. That's right. 35. Everyone has a smile, and the smile is very strong. Everyone has a very interesting look. It can be said that they are already full of excitement. For these little guys, they have already done it. Getting ready it's time to set sail. After so many years, they have been prepared for a long time. They want to become famous in the sea and tell the world that they are definitely not weak. 
Although they have the protection of their elders, they will never be wastes who simply rely on the protection of their elders. They are strong people who can show their own strength. Because of this, they will grow step by step, and they will go on firmly step by step. This is their heart, and this is their most determined side, no matter the time. They want to grow up. They want the world to see their firm side, these children are all like this, they don't want to be in the future, they are said to be just trash sheltered by their elders. Wu, Makuge looked at the pirate ship in front of him, and said seriously, finally, everything is ready. Little brat, are you ready? Uncle, dad. Uncle three, Makuge turned his head, looked at the three elders, scratched his head and said, everything is ready. Next, I'm ready to sail, uncle. Dad, uncle three, I will never give it to you. Shameful. Shame. Alan shook his head casually, but didn't say much, while Newgate said carelessly, stinky boy. I don't need you to earn this face for me, I don't care about it. Lao Tzu's strength still doesn't require you, a stinky brat, to save face for Lao Tzu. However, if you want to survive, don't die on this ocean. Daddy. 35. Don't worry. Makugai's eyes were firm, of course he knew that his father didn't really care about his so-called face, because according to the strength of his three elders, he didn't need it at all. This strength is enough. Heart. Only. Dad. I'll never be in trouble. And Makugai nodded seriously, he knew. The elders of his family might not care, but he couldn't lose this person, otherwise, he might as well die outside, what would he do when he came back? Snapped. Snapped. Backquote. Phew. Alan walked over step by step, patted Makuge on the shoulder, and said casually, okay. It's okay. Brat, it's not a big deal, you don't need to be so nervous, you don't need to think so much. It doesn't matter. That's it. Uncle. I see. Makuge also nodded seriously. He knew what his uncle wanted to say, so he didn't need to be under too much pressure, stinky boy. If you can hang on, you will hang on. If you can't hang on, then just come back. This is something that doesn't really matter at all. Only, although he said that, if Makugai came back like this, then he himself would not be able to accept himself like this, but ah. The ideas of elders and young teenagers are always different, there is no doubt about this the thing is. Dad. Uncle. 59. Uncle San. 5. Ha ha ha. At this moment, the little guys also came over, and a large number of people came here as followers, more than 3,900 people, nearly 4,000 people, which is already more than half of the Whitebeard Pirates. This is the most troublesome thing. Woo. With a puff of smoke, Alan looked very calm and said interestingly, Stinky brats, you little guys are almost ready, are you ready to leave? 99. Um. Whitebay smiled and nodded. Uncle. We have made an agreement to go to sea together. Ha ha ha. Although Alan laughed loudly, yes. Yes, since we have agreed to go to sea together, then, give Lao Tzu a little effort, if you are too embarrassing, Lao Tzu can't afford to disgrace this person. He he tilde operator tilde operator tilde operator. Everyone is laughing and scratching their heads, and they are all full of determination, no matter what. They are ready and will never back down here. With a smile on his lips, Alan looked at these little guys with interest, no matter what. These little guys are really the best little guys. Really. Shaking his head with emotion, Alan seemed to be thinking about something, and finally shook his head and said, forget it. You stinky brats, you are all serious for Lao Tzu. Remember, don't embarrass Lao Tzu. Also, don't lose your life. Um, they nodded earnestly, while Bagley said carelessly, uncle, you can rest assured, according to your test, those who can break the test will definitely not have any problems, these brothers and sisters, but not any questions. Alan waved his hands casually and said, stinky boy, get away from me, so much nonsense. He he tilde operator tilde operator tilde operator. Bagley smiled and scratched his head, and ran to the side. Alan didn't say anything, he just thought about something, and after a while he said, right. Right, dad, if nothing happens next, are we ready to set sail? Ooh, Newgate laughed and said, stinky boy, even if there is something, it's not your turn. Get the hell out of there. There's nothing. Okay, daddy. 35. The little ghosts nodded with a smile, and they were also ready to set sail. Next, they will leave the sea. For everything else, it is not important, it is time for them to leave. Let's sail. That's right. Let's go. 35. Um. Everyone is full of determination. Get the pirate ship ready. Get the supplies ready. It's time for these little guys to set sail, including Bagley and Tiger. It's time for the two of them to set sail, and as the waves roll, they gradually moving towards the distance, all the pirate ships have already left. Every little guy set sail and quietly watched the scene in front of him, while Alan remained calm. What will happen next is actually not important. He he he. The three brothers chuckled lightly, looking at all the things in front of them, the thirteen little devils set sail. P.S. 5000 word chapter. Daily six updates. Second update. Please subscribe. Please customize. Please collect. Chapter 219. Moby Dick. It's sailing. Bagley. The Black Tiger Pirates. Tiger. The Sun Pirates. That Muir. The Shark Pirates. Ilawong. 
The Walrus Pirates. Karma. The Octopus Pirates. Whitebee. The Witch Pirates. Epoida. The Devil's Worm Pirates. Andre. The Bloodthirsty Pirates. Dorma. The Night Pirates. Skuard. Skuard Pirates. Mac Guy. The Ark Pirates. Atmos. The Gyuki Pirates. Fosa. The Fire Pirates. There are a total of 13 little devils, each of them has firmed his heart, they have all set sail, and the three Edward brothers, who are elders, are just watching quietly, although they say. Bagley and Tiger were in the early years just left. Only. The two brothers also deliberately waited here, waiting for their younger siblings to leave, so as to leave together, this is what I should do as a brother. If you can't even do such a thing, so do you still qualify as a brother? Obviously. They are very firm about such a thing. And the three Edward brothers are quietly watching everything in front of them. Click. Click. As the whale's mouth on the periphery of the Moby Dick slowly opened, the pirate ships sailed into the distance. Wow. Wow. With the help of Alan's gravitational force, they left Wanokuni's waterfall, and as they left, what followed? A whole new future. They sailed about a thousand meters away from each other, and then went in all directions, they left at the same time, and their speed was very fast, so they gradually left. Woo. 35. Alan exhaled a puff of smoke and said very calmly, These little devils have all left too. Yes. With a look of emotion, everyone showed such a look, really. They have already left, and everyone left at the same time, but because of their departure, the Whitebeard Pirates it seems to have become silent. Okay. Alan waved his hand and said, there's no need to say anything more. No matter what, this is the future they chose, so what are we parents talking about? It's enough to just look at it honestly. Yes. Goo la la la. Newgate laughed proudly and said, big brother, third child, are you going back for a drink? Let's go. Kaido also grinned, the three brothers returned like this, they won't go through more than 947 to tangle, these little ghosts have also passed the test, and then the sea is up to them to roam by themselves, if they want to roam on their own if you don't come out, you will come back naturally. But no matter what, the next future belongs to them. And similarly, for their children, the next future will be filled with the beauty of the endless clear sky. They just want to roam under this beautiful clear sky and show their posture. Show their strength. This is their strength, and this is their posture, if they can't even do this if you do it. That's a very shameful thing. He <laughs> he. With such a faint chuckle, he sent them away. Don't need more words, as an elder, even if you are worried, but. Don't delay these children at this time, these children need time to grow, and they need to grow step by step. This is for them the most important thing for children is to let them go step by step. As the waves roared, they were like growing children. Although they left their home, they still have their own firm side, no matter what. This is their future. A brilliant, magnificent, beautiful. This is the future that makes people feel emotional. Woo. A puff of smoke was exhaled, and Alan's expression was full of calmness. He sat on the sofa with his legs crossed, and said casually, Second, third, we should set sail next. Because of my retreat for the past two years, we have not sailed on the sea casually for a long time. Indeed. For the past two years, Alan has been a retreat researcher conquerors hockey, but how do you say this thing? It sounds simple, but the real research, but it is not the case at all, it still takes a little time to come comprehension. Under such circumstances, in the past two years, because Alan has been in retreat, the Whitebeard Pirates have been stationed in Wanukuni for many times, and they have not left. The base of the Whitebeard Pirates has become a base in the eyes of outsiders. Uh, in fact, this is not the case at all, but in Wanukuni, it is more suitable. You can watch your family earn money, and then fight casually. You don't need to think about anything. Just working hard to improve your strength is the end is stationed in Wanokuni. The Whitebeard Pirates will not have any bases, nor do they need to have any bases. Because there is no need at all, for the Whitebeard Pirates, they do not need any bases, because their Moby Dick is their home, it's their most important home. As for everything else, it's all meaningless things. For them, they don't take it seriously at all. This is the Whitebeard Pirates, and they have only been stationed here for all these years. Um, Newgate nodded and said, Brother, since you don't retreat, of course we can leave, but, brother, how is your conqueror's hockey practice, has it reached its peak? Quote dot 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 quote. Hmm. 35. Almost. Alan was not annoyed, and said very calmly, this matter is understandable. It's not a big deal. But, to be honest, you can only know if you really walk over. This thing is really very serious. Trouble. Huh. 35. Hearing this, both Newgate and Kaido were very curious, Kaido asked, big brother. How about the highest level of conqueror's hockey? What? This. Alan rubbed his brows and said, Conqueror's hockey of the highest level, this hockey is the most special, possessing special powers, whether it's killing by seeing and hearing, or the materialized conqueror's hockey displayed by Captain Rocks, very scary. The second point is armament hockey. The apex of armament hockey is emission, which can be destroyed from the inside, but emission also has a gap. I am still a little far from the most fixed emission. The highest level emission is extremely terrifying. Power, 
This power is enough to destroy everything. The third point is to see and hear, and theoretically, the top of observation hockey is to predict the future, the second is to peep at the heart, and the third is to listen to the voice of all things, although the latter two are innate talents. People like Roger, Kazuki Odin, Momosuke are born with the ability to listen to the voice of all things, and people like Neptune's wife, Otohime, are born with the observation hockey who peeks into people's hearts. In general, these are all part of observation hockey. If you want to develop observation hockey, you need a lot of various conditions, although it is said. In theory, the degree to which one can cultivate is to predict the future, and it also needs to be achieved through practice. However, these are just theoretical statements. All three levels can be achieved through cultivation. The only thing I haven't achieved yet is listening to the voice of all things. This level is hard to say. You say you need talent, right? You really need talent. Speaking of which, this level is rather special. Well, it's not an important thing anyway. Let's take your time to reach this level in the future. Alan feels very calm, this level is still very normal, and it is not a big problem. It is not a big problem to deal with slowly. For this, Alan still has absolute certainty. Um, listening to the introduction of the eldest brother, the two brothers nodded. The two of them were relatively calm. They were also working hard to cultivate conqueror's hockey, but, it is not difficult to cultivate conqueror's hockey to the top, but to a higher level, above the vertices, the so-called real vertices. So, but it is really very difficult. According to the talents and aptitudes of the two of them, it may take an extremely long time. Because of this, this is the most troublesome thing. Because you can't be sure. How long does it take? And in this case, the next result is something that is beyond doubt AGFJ. Quote quote. Alan thought for a while and said, all in all. No matter what you say, the situation of conqueror's hockey is still easy to say, but. It doesn't matter, we should set sail. Next, let me see, the past few years have passed. Now, what is this sea like now? Goo la la la, that's right, that's right. Worororo, it's a matter of course. Ha ha ha. The three brothers are all laughing heroically, and everyone's eyes are flashing with sharp and terrifying smiles. There is no hesitation at all, this. There is absolutely no doubt about it. Humph. A smile appeared, and the corners of Alan's mouth twitched, and a terrifying killing intent and fighting intent emerged. Then he stood up and looked into the distance. Brothers. It's time to set sail. Of course. Boom. Boom. Hash equals A. As the sailing is about to start, and naturally, a lot of things are going to start preparing, these are all going to start, there is no doubt about it. It can be said, these are things that do not need to be doubted, and these are also very important things. And these important things are definitely the most important things, because of this. These are things that are beyond doubt, and as all the supplies are ready, these are not lacking. But, no matter when you are sailing on the sea, you can't have any carelessness about these inspections. Even the slightest carelessness is absolutely undoubted. These are very important and absolutely can't be anything. Careless. Even if. Just a little carelessness, then the price to pay. It will be very terrifying, this is the most terrifying, and the most terrifying thing. Because of this, you must deal with these things carefully, absolutely not have any questions. This is a very important thing for a pirate group, and no pirate group can afford such carelessness. Therefore, all inspections that should be inspected need to be inspected, materials. Pirate ships, personnel, these are all inspections that need to be rationalized, and there must be no carelessness, otherwise. It will pay a huge price. Because of this, this it's something that can't be ignored. And, with the deafening roar, a different scene resounded. Ghost Island. It actually rose up gradually, this is the most shocking scene. I saw that Kaido actually controlled the Ghost Island to rise gradually through the flame cloud, and has begun to gradually float towards the Moby Dick. It's not that fast, but if you look closely, you'll find out. The ghost island has been completely transformed, and it doesn't look like a normal island at all. It seems to be a metal fortress. This is the remodeled ghost island. Ghost island should now be called part of the Moby Dick, but it belongs to the kind that can be separated, similar to the letter ship. It's probably something like this, which is very important matter. Therefore, this time, he was about to leave, so he naturally wanted to bring ghost island back. Click, click. With the gradual return of the ghost island, a position of the Moby Dick gradually cracked. This piece of land is a huge flat land, and the significance of the existence of this ground naturally does not need to be said. When it cracked open, the ghost island gradually fell from the sky, so they gathered together perfectly, and the two formed a perfect combination. It's so perfect, just like, it's as it should be, and it's so. That's how the two have been transformed, and they'll be so perfectly combined. Wu, nodding earnestly, Kaido let out a breath of turbid air, jumped down, landed on the Moby Dick, and said calmly, Big brother. I'm done here. Hum. Alan looked at the ghost island, and said interestingly, seriously. The construction of your ghost island is interesting. It's like this, I haven't discovered it for two years. 35. In the past two years, I have been practicing conqueror's hockey in seclusion. Regarding the outside world, in fact, I know very little, or rather, 
It's like I don't know, and because of this, this is the very critical core, under such circumstances, Onishima was completed last year. And I really don't know that. But, for these things, Alan is not particularly interested, but after looking at it, he said, Little Brats, how are you all preparing? Uncle, don't worry, everything is ready. Very good. Set sail. Yes. Wow. Halala. Following Alan's order, the behemoth Moby Dick gradually began to set sail after the return of the ghost island, slowly moving towards the distance, the speed is not slow. It is moving towards the distance at a very fast speed after leaving the waterfall, he galloped towards the distance at an astonishing speed. Hee <laughs> hee. Alan stood directly in front of the whale's head, with a grin on the corner of his mouth, and said cruelly, it's been two years. Come on, let me see how you guys are prepared. If there is no any preparation, I will feel very boring. Search. Wei Wei licked the corner of his mouth. In the past two years, his strength has been improved again, and if his opponent is really too weak, then he will find it boring. Two years have passed, and the behemoth called the Whitebeard Pirates has not appeared. I don't know what these little ghosts think. Or rather, what interesting thoughts are these trash now having? He he he. Alan smiled grimly, but he was really looking forward to it more and more, and it really made people feel more and more interesting. This see, what will the next result be? So exciting. P.S. 5000 word chapter. Daily 6 updates. Third update. Please subscribe. Please customize. Please collect. Chapter 220. Whitebeard Pirates. Growth is enough. Wow. Wow. The Moby Dick sailed on the sea. The speed is not fast. It is very stable, although it is said to be sailing. But for pirates, even if they are out to sea, they are not looking for trouble every day. Besides, according to the Whitebeard Sea the size of the pirate group, who are you looking for? Except for the same big pirate groups, if you are looking for trouble with the little devils. You may not be ashamed enough. Because of this, the Whitebeard pirates actually do a lot of voyages, that is, peaceful voyages, and nothing, too many things happen. Whale head. This position is the bow of the Moby Dick. Many people like to sit here, not because of ambition and ambition, but more because they like to look at the magnificent sea in front of them. Sage. Your training is over. Marco fluttered his wings and looked at Sachi who was sitting there cross-legged. He also fell down, and sat down cross-legged. Ah. 35. Sachi nodded and said. The training is over. Marco, your training is over too. Um. Marco nodded and fell down. It's over, but. How did you head chef come here? You came here, who is preparing dinner? Ha ha ha. Listening to Marco's ridicule, Sachi said with a big smile, who is preparing dinner? Someone in the food court is in charge, if I am here. There are not so many things, and. I am also very tired. Now, just take a break. Ah. 35. Breathing lazily, Sage lay directly on the bow of the boat, and said casually, Marco, seriously. As everyone left, it felt a little empty, and it felt very strange. What? Indeed. Hearing Sachi's sighs, Marco was even more touched. After all, Compared to Sachi, Marco joined the Whitebeard Pirates for too long. And because of this, in this long time during the time, Marco saw the arrival of everyone, and now watching everyone leave with his own eyes has a wonderful feeling, which is also a very normal thing. Then, Marco also shook his head and said casually, however, these are nothing, after all. They have their own ambitions, and we also have our own firm heart. Everyone can't back down, otherwise, the next time we meet, it will be too embarrassing. Indeed. 35. Listening to Marco's words, Sachi also showed a smile and said with a chuckle, yeah. After so many years, we are now separated. If we are too weak when we meet next time, it is very shameful thing. Hey, hey. 39. Marco said very calmly, don't take me with me, I can't become weak. I will definitely be stronger than them, otherwise, I will be a very shameful thing. 6699. When Sachi looked at Marco, he meant, don't take me with you if you are ashamed, and couldn't help but spit out the corners of his mouth twitching you bastard, no matter what time it is, is really annoying. Seriously, Marco, you guys are really annoying sometimes. 35. Cut. Marco pouted, with a smile on the corner of his mouth, and Sachi didn't care at all. Ha ha ha. The two of them looked at each other and couldn't help laughing. No matter what it was, it was true. For them, there really isn't that much to say about this sea. They are members of the Whitebeard Pirates. You don't need to think about anything more, as long as you grow up quietly every day, and other than that, everything else has nothing to do with you. That's right, this is the advantage of a strong pirate group, they don't need to think so much, as the people of this pirate ship, all they need to do is grow. Marco, you're such a troublesome bastard. 35, hey. Hey, 95, but don't say that, isn't that the case with you guy? Quote dot 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 quote. The two of them looked at each other, sitting cross-legged and quietly looking at the calm sea in the distance. In fact, this is the case. This is a magnificent sea, although it is said, countless monsters are gathered here, and countless people are here the owner's amazing strength. But, actually, these people, they are just a part of this sea. Above this sea, what is really more is calm, yes. 
This is an incomparably huge pirate, and even in New World, there are many pirates. But, when you really want to look for it and come across it casually, you will find that this is simply unrealistic. In the original book, the voyage of the Straw Hat Pirates, in addition to their adventures on each island, encounters the pirates on the road. It can be said that there are very few cases, and that's why. This is the most interesting thing, isn't it? And this moment, the two looked at the distance quietly, and there was only endless firmness in their eyes. It was the endless firmness that came from the soul and the heart. For the two of them, everything was meaningless. They don't care at all, they just want to see what the future will be like. Really interesting see, it's really a calm see. Two people express their emotions at the same time, but for these two people, this kind of emotion is the most suitable thing. It is also the most interesting thing, isn't it? In this world, this is also the most normal. Because, this is a real world, and in the real world, such a thing is a matter of course, because everything can never be exactly the same, but full of two sides. In this case, such a world can it's the most fun. Now, the emotion of the two people represents the two sides of the world, calm and interesting. And this is the foundation of this world and the core of this world. In this world, everything is the most interesting thing, isn't it? As long as you look at it, you will know, how interesting this world is. He he he. With a smile on the corners of their mouths, both of them chuckled and looked into the distance, their eyes filled with endless calm, as if there were no emotional fluctuations. Snapped. Snapped. Abel was thinking about something while walking on the road, while Quinn said helplessly, Abel, you should calm down. Wanokuni's situation is like this, the uncle, the second uncle, the old man dad, haven't you already said it? Don't pay too much attention to it. Even if it is destroyed, it doesn't matter. 35. Quinn really feels helpless, Abel's character is really a headache. Obviously. The three of my family have already said it, it doesn't matter at all, the result. You have to think so much about what to do ah. Uh, really, isn't this just unnecessary? This makes Quinn feel that he really doesn't know what to say. But ah, uh, this is also Abel's character, no matter at any time, Abel is so serious and vigilant, for any aspect, anything is in this way. Um, Abel also nodded and said, I also know that's the case, but, what I'm thinking about is that since Wanokuni is about to be destroyed, before Wanokuni is destroyed, how to squeeze out more of Wanokuni's interests, is Wanokuni. What else is special, a lot of all this needs to be considered. You bastard, you are just like a fool. 99. Quote dot 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 quote. Quinn was so angry that his teeth were tickling, this guy really dared to say it. However, it was the truth, and Abel thought about it very comprehensively. Exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark. Wanokuni is indeed going to be abandoned, there is no doubt about it, but, one thing you have to understand is that even if Wanokuni is going to be abandoned, Wanokuni still has many special features, which are beyond doubt. For this matter, Abel certainly needs careful consideration. Not to mention, whether Wanokuni is abandoned or not, it will not be destroyed within three or two years. The weapons business is still to be done. Gotta get it for sure, and secondly, where's the Wanokuni artisan? Do not doubt, Wanokuni's craftsmen are all very good and have amazing abilities. Because of this, these are the kind of income that requires careful and serious income. If it is possible, of course it is the best thing. Because of this, these things, Abel is very serious consideration. Even though, the chief housekeeper of the Whitebeard Pirates is his own mother, but, Abel also thinks seriously about these things and helps his mother share the pressure, which is also a matter of course. There is no strange problem. Never mind, never mind. Seeing Abel like this, Quinn knew that he would definitely not be able to persuade Abel, and finally shook his head silently and said, speaking of which, Abel, how is your research? Although we have to study Wanokuni more deeply. Levels of looting, but do you have any ideas? Yes. 35. Abel nodded and said. I also have some general ideas, but. These are just an idea, and it still takes time to think about it. This is not an urgent matter, there is no need to worry, after all. Wanokuni is in under our control, I was thinking, what are the resources of Wanokuni, which can be put to good use before they are destroyed? Exclamation mark. There is no doubt about the seastone minerals. This is absolutely something that does not need to be doubted. The best thing is that the minerals can be completely controlled. This is absolutely no doubt. Seastone's minerals, this definitely a very important item. Ask for flowers. This is definitely one of the rarest minerals in this world, because 90% of the seastone is in the hands of Wanokuni, and in this case, they have mastered everything in Wanokuni, so there is no doubt about it. Indeed it is. Quinn nodded in agreement and said, Abel, don't worry, you can have time to think about it. After all, you can see from Wanokuni's situation. Kurozumi, the idiot, is crazy, but his the guy also knows that Wanokuni doesn't belong to him, he also destroys, but he doesn't dare to destroy. Do not, do not, Abel shook his head seriously and said, Quinn, why do you think a person is afraid of death? Of course I don't want to die, anything else. Secondly, it's because I still have enough treasure, or I have relatives, or I want to pass it on to future generations. All in all, this is the case. 
Are there any other problems? 35. And also. When Quinn said this, he was also lost in thought, and after a while, he said with a serious expression, yeah. For Kurozumi Orochi, he seems to have nothing important. For him, he is now the purpose of living is to torture Wanokuni, and death means nothing to him. T. Um. Abel nodded and said, yes. If this is the case, Kurozumi Orochi is extremely likely to make crazy moves. That's right. When a person loses faith, or rather, he lives for madness and is full of endless madness, this person is already very terrifying. Because, what will he do? You don't know. Are said, no one knows at all, and this. This is the most terrifying, most terrifying thing, no one can be sure. What kind of thing is this guy going to do? Obviously. This is the case with the Kurozumi Orochi at this moment, which is absolutely undeniable. Wu, taking a deep breath, Quinn also said seriously, indeed. Abel, the things you consider need to be carefully considered, if you are too careless, then there will be problems. Yes, Abel naturally nodded to this. That's right. As Abel thought, Kurozumi Orochi is a lunatic, the best tool man to rule Wanokuni, but again. This tool man is also a lunatic, if he really thinks he can't live, or say. What does this madman do when his life is meaningless? Actually, this is a self-evident thing. Such a terrifying monster and lunatic may do things that will become more and more terrifying, and even make people feel endlessly terrified, but this is really the case under the circumstances, then the result is that there is no need to say much. Gudong. Swallowing his saliva deeply, Quinn thought about it carefully, and said after a moment, this. It's definitely a very important thing, if you think about it carefully, then you will understand, Kurozumi, the big snake, is really a trouble. Yes, Abel nodded and said, and the idea of uncle, uncle, and father is actually very simple. Wanokuni has no use value. If this is the case, then it is ready to abandon Wanokuni. It doesn't matter if Wanokuni is abandoned, but, among them, there are a lot of resources, what we should get or get very seriously, this is our resource. Indeed, Quinn nodded deeply at this, that's right. That's right, Abel's consideration was not wrong at all. In this case, of course, there can be no carelessness. This is something that needs to be carefully considered. How did all the materials in Wanokuni take away? Or, how did all the materials in Wanokuni take away? This is something that really needs deep thinking and serious consideration. This, there is absolutely no doubt about it, and because of this, the consideration of the two is also very important, after all. Although Wanokuni is said to be in charge of his own father, in fact. Basically, Abel is responsible for everything. It is precisely because he is in charge of the entire Wanokuni that Abel does not allow such a thing to happen. This is for himself home is irresponsible. Of course, such a rich resource cannot be thrown away casually. This is a very important matter, and it is absolutely impossible to be careless. Abel thought about it very carefully. P.S. 5000 Word Chapter. Daily 6 Updates. 4th Update. Please Subscribe. Please Customize. Please Collect.